Nyon, Moussa Traoré, commissaire Loubé. Les pays de la que tu vois, oh, son caleçon est gros. Vous y faites au Cadela, son caleçon est tigre. Ma son il est sapé là, c'est la vie de ses amis là, ils vont. Ils ont connu, ouais. Ouais, ils ont connu, ouais. La famille Revo Revo. Tu as l'habitude de battre la nuit, tous les chats sont gris. C'est juste pour te dire que la nuit, tout le monde se ressemble. Il y en a qui portent la vie de la petite frère pour venir faire mal au quartier. Voici des sociétés, ils font ça pour nous faire casser. J'ai tant de souffrances au lieu de chercher à réaliser. Papa se met bien dans les maquilles, les enfants mettent de faire la maison. DJ Chris, son nom d'un micro, il se sent roi, il se sent chef beau. C'est quand il voit un agent là, c'est là son bas, c'est l'impôt. Au sens où ça va te dire que le gars là, son caleçon est gros. Pour s'y faire au quartier là, son caleçon est tigre. On est pas là, il est là, dedans là. On connaît son modèle au pays. Eh, eh, ils ont connu, ouais. Ah, bah, ils ont connu, ouais. Eh, ils ont connu, ouais. À sa poule au bord, c'est mignon garçon. La mine de bain. Zoé, Zoé. C'est devenu la médiaire, déjà ils ne sont pas grattés. Les problèmes sont remplis dans la valise, mais ils ont toujours quelque chose à dire. Faut voir les malheurs au quartier, c'est ceux qui vont les tuer. Comme une façon, vous êtes sa pelle, qui a prêté à vie de sa camarade. Point d'interrogation. Jimmy le prophète. A vie martiale, à l'invité de tout le monde. Maman Yéli dit que celui-là, son cas de son est gros. Mais il n'est rien. Vous vous moutez à côté là, le kilo n'a pas de prix à coûter. Maman connexion à Bonao, à Baïka Bloué. Ils ont beau y oué. Ma Baïka Bloué, il n'y a rien. Elle me sait bien le papa au cas de nous en haut. All right, uh, folks, we want to welcome you to this evening. This is LPR TV special. As usual, I'm Afonso Zienso from the Liberia Public Radio to an LPR TV. We want to welcome our viewers and listeners across the globe, wherever you are, Ty Bill, Ty Cousin, Ty, and out of the rest, Ty Ibrahim, Ty Man, Ty Dolo, to welcome. Please hit the share button from your end and invite someone at your company. In the interest of African solidarity, taking you to neighboring La Côte d'Ivoire. <laughs> Yeah, taking you to La Côte d'Ivoire this evening. We want to welcome you to Nancy Tyru Van Den Saint, to Daniel to Boyo to welcome this is the Liberia Public Radio. It's going to be a high call conversation here this evening, believe it or not. Either the general is disarmed, or whether he's a political general, or uh, a general in the army or civilian general, we shall find out soon. This is Afonso Zienso. <laughs> This is how we used to do it in La Côte d'Ivoire. Welcome. Let's get the program rolling. I'm Afonso Zian, so to the Liberia Public Radio and LPR TV. Tomorrow, but this evening, going to be a huge day. Uh, my boy is graduating, right? All right, uh, that's right there. The call hint, uh, Sammy, he's from my neighboring town, like Cote d'Ivoire. We want to welcome our viewers and listeners across the globe. Thank you for sharing your beautiful evening. Before we get this program going, there are two things moving simultaneously one is on the good side, and the other one is on the bad side, and that's the uncertainty in life. So, let me just start from the good versions, and we're going to come to the I decided event as well. Tomorrow, my, you know, our life is all about stages. I want you to see this picture here. That's my boy. Uh, he's going to be graduating tomorrow. But look at this picture at the time. And I see when he was heading to school. And now I see him during his late virtual class. He's going to be going to middle school. What's a wonderful time but uh I, I, one thing i'm still nervous because i don't know what he's going to be requesting for these children their demand is more than people paycheck 
uh, he said he's gonna send me an email. So I'm panicking right now, what's gonna be contained in that email. I just told him, to let that email try to do it little to a little. And on the other side, life is so difficult to deal with. My beautiful niece, uh, Tomoria Tai Chesit So passed recently uh, in the West African state of Liberia following the protracted illness from Thai leukemia. Uh, tomorrow will be laid to rest this Saturday to, uh, in Liberia. And uh, the management of the Liberia Public Radio and LPR TV, to, uh, they're going to be there to bring you that live coverage. Painful death, uh, painful death from my uh, leukemia. And this is what our country, to, we need to accelerate, to improve our uh, situation. We know it's a very consequential one, but there's a way our politicians and all of us can do it. Let's get the program rolling. Time of and so this is LPR TV special. We want to welcome our viewers and listeners. Marita, welcome, of course, our prime time listeners here. Let's get the ball rolling. No much time to waste. Uh, we have to hold all accountable in the political discourse of Liberia. This is easy and so. Okay, with much more time I do, he's one of uh, the political commentators on the media, on the radar. We extended him an invitation, I believe this is the second time appearing, and we strongly believe here at LPR all must be held accountable, including myself, you the viewers, the listeners, those that are tweeting. He must also be held accountable. Well, some call him Monique, some call him Kishen, and there's another code near attached aka the general hmm guess what the general is about to meet the neutralizer so whether he's a civilian general whether he's a political general to whether he's a media to general whatever this case we're going to be having that conversation also joining us uh early morning from australia is lpr senior contributor george widow hopefully the liberal will join us here let me bring in my guest here ty kishen my name kishen is our special guest aka the general let me put a general right side me here so that when he read a fire he means out i will use some my uh, uh, airspace are ballistic to intercept and put them into DC. Money Kishan, aka the general. Good evening and welcome on LPR. Yeah, thank you, Alfonso. Can you hear me loud and clear? Loud and clear. Uh, thank Hearing you very much for, for the invite, and I'm humbled and honored to be on your show today. And I hope we have a very good discussion. Also, thanks. Um, I want to say hello to my friend. I have not seen this face a long time, George Weeder. I want to say, how are you? And I hope we have a good conversation that will be in the interest of Liberia. Thank you very much. Okay. So uh, let me bring you our senior contributor. There's early morning now at uh, work here to do what he loves doing to, to make the case. And we talk a Liberia, keeping the news proportional tie with her. With her, how are you? Oh, I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic. And thank you very much for having me. And uh, I just want to thank uh, the general. Uh, I, I will call him too as well, <laughs> general. I'm not sure what I'm going to call him the general because the very first defeat that I see with his military fatigue, but the yeah. general star is missing. So how yeah. can I? <laughs> I knew. <laughs> well, we're, going I <laughs> we're going to come to that. But what I do know, I see the beautiful background there. So which also portrayal tie the military highway of a here. Okay, money. Uh, on a good note, I want to thank you first of all uh, for my uh, taking off your business schedule to us to have this conversation. I think it is important uh, all of us in this business, whether fall or gains, we must be able to have a conversation here. Okay, let's start a conversation. I know we have talked in the past. Time is gradual away, folks. We want to welcome you here. It's, uh, let's start the conversation going here, and we don't hesitate to also punch in uh, the question. I told him nothing is off here, but I want to keep it safe and keep it more proportional. So let's get into this here. How many Kishin jumped into this whole business of becoming a political commentator? What happened? Well, it's because of the disadvantage in our country and Liberia, I noticed that there are a lot of people in Liberia who sit back and don't speak, but they wait for others to talk for them. And if we, we the people who try to be into politics and don't speak for the voiceless, 
then we in the same thing so i decided i listen i will have to add my voice no matter what happened and maybe my voice will be here and i think people hearing it already but it's because of the people i want to like zero i just want to be in a position where i will contribute in a positive way that every Liberian would benefit from our government. So my duty is to hold the government accountable. That is why I'm not a member of any political parties. I am an independent Liberian. Why are you telling the cat out of the bag so quick? Why Good. can't you wait for me to ask this question? Are you yeah, trying you know, to get sometimes, it? Sometimes you try to shoot so quick. Okay, I, I got you. <laughs> Look, we the, we yeah. the, this guy has done something on his sleeve. Why? I didn't ask him whether he's any member of the political party and he's now quickly jumped out of the chair. Um, <laughs> independent. Do we have independence in like independent folks in Liberia, you think? No, no, I don't think so. And I think the general needs to come clean. Uh, this is, <laughs> I think he's, he's here to, um, to make sure that the facts are on the table. So I think the general, I've been following him. We had a lot of arguments on Facebook. And even though I said sometimes came, I couldn't find him on Facebook, whether he blogged me or I blogged him. I don't know, oh, but I think the general, needs to, oh, the, 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 general, the general needs to come clean. Yeah. Come on, we don't, I know you are a contributor and you are a high supporter of the ruling party here. So That's I think you so, and so quick, you're trying to get the gloss off. Let's take yeah. it easy with our tie general here before something. Okay, so I uh, this is not a bane. It's not a conviction right now here. Okay, so uh, you've been, uh, your voice has been uh, on the airwave for quite a while now. Uh, Kishan, is it resonating? Who is it, who, who's listening? Who is hearing you or who is calling you? Well, the common man out there is resonating to, uh, with them. And the fact is that I know some people want to see uh, 500, 1,000 viewers at a time. It's not about how many people watch it at the time, but how many get the message later on. Because, hey, I will tell you, I got three Facebook pages, and two of my pages is already filled, 5,000 and, and, and friends. I know some. I don't know some. But after my show, I spray out, and I've been receiving messages from Liberia. And most of my friends are in Liberia, especially when I went home 2018. Most of my viewers are in Liberia, and I receive messages from them. So right after the show, I share it, and a lot of people grasping with it, and they understanding, and they getting the message little by little. Okay, I love that. I I, I am not a fan of uh, viewer. It's stupid. It doesn't make no sense. I prefer what they call quality than quantity, because the quality resonates. It bears it bears our fruit. It falls on the filter. So if I want 10,000, I know exactly what to do. But what is important is the, the content of the message and the quality. When two, five people receive that message and they can carry that as a message, it's better than to have, you know, whatever people here. Okay, so is it message, who is it being to, what is the focus points of this message here, the general? I try to who reach the speaking, who are you? Who are you speaking? Who are you speaking to directly? Okay, I'm speaking to the young kids, the, the, the students, the market tiers, the market women and men, and to our older people, some of them who uh, uh, don't have the opportunity to lend their voice out there. But these are the people I'm going after. I'm not going after certain political parties, but I know we have a lot of Liberians who are not registered members of political parties. Who are sitting out there on the fence these are the people i try to reach and that's my purpose are you also communicating with the political parties stakeholders opposition interest group as well are they all inclusive in your talking point well i'm not in direct contact with them but yes i had a conversation with one of the candidates and in this year Jan uh, january february which was comments from the first time and that was it. And since then, I have not, I'm not in contact with any political parties. So, 
Yeah. That's a good. Out there. That's a good revelation that you are giving me more reasons I to bombard yeah. you here this evening. Which of course you agreed. Yes, to. and, and oh, you ready. had a conversation with uh, one of the candidates who happens to be Alexander Cummings. You know, yeah. I'm a, I'm a new fans of you. You are follow you because of their your language, your tone. I don't like people who just create and uh, make up things because they want people to sympathize with me. But I remember one of your podcasts. You used the word "I like Cummings." Am I correct? Yes. I admire okay. him. I admire him you, a lot. You admire him. And this is one of the things I decided to go much deeper in the connotations of that language. So let me ask you, who initiated that call? Who was the first caller? Well, someone tried to make the and to build that bridge and they, they, they wasted our time. And for some reason, I just decided that I would just send this message and say, Happy New Year. And to Kumis. To Kumis. So, yes. Because I had a direct line, but to just call, that was the problem. I was just waiting, you know. So I said, you know what, let me just try this line and say, Happy New Year. And to my surprise, after two days, I received, they said, oh, Happy New Year, who's this? Then I said, oh, Munel, Kishore. You didn't send me Happy New Year. You didn't send uh, Ben I said, I said, I said yeah. yes. You see, that's the fact. You, 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 I don't need to send it to Ben Ayure. I, I sent some kind of general stuff, but That's when the you the president of the Republic of Liberia. Oh no, I, I I usually send him greetings. And I think he blocked me now if I don't mistake him, because Ooh. right after the election, I show I had a connection with him, but it is not going through anymore. And I try to hit on a messenger to say, No, you are not friends anymore with this person, so you can't call. But I try to get in contact with comments, and then luckily it went through. And for the first time, we were able to talk. And I just introduced myself. And he said, oh, I've been watching you. He said, I, I saw your hey. stuff. I said, oh, that's good. He's been watching you? Yeah, he's been watching me. How many, minutes or hours, how many minutes or hours you guys talk for? OK, the first time it was like, well, you know, conference call, like a video chat, which lasted for some time. You know, I was not the only person. And that is where I told him, I say, yes, I'm one of your supporters. And officially, I told him. And then all the other conversations were like five minutes, 10 minutes. You know, I just, when I see something that he's doing in Liberia. It started, started being sporadic yeah. conversation yes. over conversation. Uh, most okay. of the time, I text. Most of the time, I text him. Like Ooh. one of the texts I sent him, you know, I'm the kind of person I listen to everybody. And I text him stuff that Liberians are saying, like, Oh, Mr. Cummings, don't smile. Oh, Mr. Cummings, need to reach out there. Oh, and Mr. Cummings, it's not likable. Mr. Cummings, need to fight more. And to my surprise, when I text him, he replied me, and he said, "Listen, I see your comments, and I would try to do some. And I noticed that he's doing some of them. And every time he does, uh, like he go on a campaign trail, I would say, "Oh, God, that's good. Keep it up. Keep on moving around. You have to sell yourself. That's how it works. You got to be consistent." And Fight for the people. You don't have to insult the government, but just give your message to the people because I believe profanity never take the message well, and that is what he's doing. And gradually, he's his, he he is his own man. He's a different guy, different leader. You know, he has different style of doing things. And I I confess to him. I say, listen, I was one of those who said that you should leave the CPP, get out of the CPP, and be on your own. But he know his reason why he joined, and he said, "I respect the Liberians. I believe in the Liberian people. So that is why I believe that we can come together and do better. Going by himself, they won't, they won't pay off well. So, and I believe in. And I said, "Well, okay, we we'll support you. We will make the case. If you don't, fine, we'll continue." Okay, a lot of revelation uh, coming all year. Let me bring him a man from Australia here who make a quick indictment here to uh, 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 the general, Takishin, a.k.a. the general here. Okay, so with, uh, let me just bring you in here, Ty, right away here. Ty is getting to be quite fascinating. Um, you listen to the general. Look, look uh, it's quite fascinating, as you said. I've listened to the general, and I think I was right from the onset uh, that the general has a political root, you know, even though at first he, he tried to uh, cajole us into believing that. Uh, now, hold, let uh, me hold you there one second. The most yeah. liberal on this network, he claimed to be the USA-based 
Liberty Party man. Mm -hmm. He's joining us right now from Saxton, Sacramento, Samson Bloco Branto. Let me just bring him in here. The liberal, there he is. Oh my goodness. I don't know how this is going to end up here. But uh, we don't carry on and I'll bring in the liberal tie to I see the water too. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Look, and, and my indictment was quite right. Uh, the uh, the general, as he's called, um, has a political route, and that is in ANC. And I follow him a lot, and I realize that that's where he, he goes. But um, I, I want to. I will come with the questions, and 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 I just I just I will keep it very brief, and I want to make sure that uh, we uh, we discuss, you know, frankly, because this is about Liberia, we should discuss things. Um, uh, that are beneficiary to Liberia, not us ourselves, because we will go away, Liberia will remain. So uh, my first question to him will be um, whether he see Mr. Kome as a good leader um, when, when, when we talk about uh, leading a country, if whether he's convinced that uh, he should give me reason why he thinks uh, Mr. Kome is the right person. And that will be my first question to him. Okay, before you respond to that question, uh, we intend to have extensive engagement here. Uh, the liberal, are you there with us? Okay, I think the liberal is still, uh, he's, he's still getting nervous already because he knows uh, he's really in a media slaughterhouse here this evening. Okay, why he's managing his Liberty Party cable wires uh, on that end. Uh, the liberal, are you there? <laughs> yes, I am, Mr. So. Okay, uh, what? Uh, I normally can't go send you the new cable wires. Give me your hat on you. She didn't teach you. Well, Thank you, thank you for having me, and and thanks, uh, Mr. Wheeler and the general. Thank you guys very much. I hope the uh, discussion here will be spiritual here tonight. And I, I as usual, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Wheeler, for joining us all the way from Australia again. I yeah. think your your view has gotten to be permanent now among our brothers and sisters, even though the, some of us don't agree with many of them. Oh, but however, God. but those are your view, and we respect them. But we will vehemently disagree, respectfully. Mm. That is, we will disagree with your view because those are CDC oh. view, and I I don't subscribe to many of the CDC uh, way of governing. So thank you, Mr. So, for having me, uh, and I'm here uh, as a, a liberal progressive, a counterweight, that is, and I'm here to, to, to do my job. Okay, so uh, the general, uh, there you have the question firing from where Australia had this morning, and uh, he put it into context here, he was correct. First of all, do you agree with him to say that uh, you root political rule? Is that a fair argument? No, he's, he's, he's assuming he's wrong on that. But before I, I, I answer his question, if you if a man is saying that I'm independent, that means I hold loyalty to no political party. In America, we got members of the Democratic Party, members of the Republican parties, and they have independence, but they also lean on the candidates. So I'm supporting Cummings, and I want to clear this out. I'm not speaking for Mr. Cummings. I'm not speaking for the ANC, so whatever I say here should be held against me. It's my views and my earnest view. So I am a mem I'm an I am an independent person. I am not registered with no political parties. So no one can suspend me from the ANC because I'm not a member. Mr. Cummings himself cannot even do anything because I'm just a supporter and an admirer of Mr. Cummings. So that is what I want to clear. But when you say independent, that doesn't mean that you don't choose. I've chosen someone. I've endorsed someone already. Until I can see another person better than that candidate, then I will, uh, I will analyze myself. But to his question, if Mr. Cummings will be a good president or I seem to be a good, to be a good leader, yes. Over 110%, yes. The fact is that in leadership this is what i look for in leadership it's not the degree it's not how much you have it's the work what you what you have done in the past and then i listen to people the three characteristics that i see in leadership and that it should be part of any every human being is uh, uh, honesty integrity and empathy as a human being if you have that in you because no one is perfect no human being is perfect on the subject but I believe if you are an earnest man or woman, you will not hurt anyone. You will not lie. You will not kill. You will not undermine. You will always try to do your best. 
integrity which most of our politicians don't have. Well, if you have that integrity, you will think about your family. You will think about your name, that if I leave today, what's going to happen tomorrow? And I respect myself. I don't just want to put my name out there for something else to go wrong. And then empathy, as a human being, put yourself in the shoes of the next man who you think suffering. If it's you today, how you feel if you don't have it and you're struggling to send your kids to school? Think about the poor man. And this is what I saw in Mr. Cummings. I never met Mr. Cummings. I read about Mr. Cummings before I decided to follow him in 2016. If I was looking for a friend, I was going to be behind President Weir because President Weir know the name. Oh, Moonibor. This is how Librem like, called me. So he knows that name very well. We are friends, but I put Liberia over friendship. That's me. Even I will give you an example. My brother from my empire, which I love so badly, he's part of the coalition and CPP. He was NPP. I never supported him. I never liked Charles Taylor. We were too different. When we go home, we speak as a brother. We hug each other. But out there, I'm not his supporter. We are not in the same party. And we are two different people. So I put Liberia first. But I will tell you, Mr. Cummings will be because we need new leadership. New leadership. We got all the guys who work for past government and present government and still doing the same thing. But I believe once we have a new leader who put law and other rights, which I always heard from Mr. Cummings, all the other politicians, the corrupt politicians will follow. But because of bad leadership, the head of Liberia, once he's not honest and he's corrupt, everybody's going to do the same. Everybody. And I will tell you again about Mr. Cummings. I see most politicians, they in the office, they have the foundation. They take the foundation, they connect it with the political parties, and just gave out scholarship because, oh, you must support her. But Mr. Cummings uh, Foundation, what are you, ANC? Because the guy pulled from a, a, a CDC that have a, that have a, a scholarship there. But you must meet certain criteria for you to be qualified. They give scholarship for mathematics, science, and all of us. So that's why I'm watching. And he's honest. I wish Liberia was understand that we need an honest leader to take that country forward. But I believe that Mr. Cummings is the one. I'm not in love with him, don't get me wrong. I only admire him because I criticized Mr. Cummings so many times on my show. When he make a comment, it's don't go down. Like when the comment came up when the people, when I saw the people talking, holding the picture, it was not him because that's how the people behave in Maryland. You know so. In Maryland, they tried to put you in a hammer because they did it for Tottenham. But I was against that picture. Just Every how the poll, just how the yeah. president yeah. of uh, in Morovia, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. So can I, I, can I come with a follow up? Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mr. So thank you for allowing me as well. Look, uh, when I ask a question, I should like to put it into context. I see Mr. Cummings is on the radio um, and, and in his press statements, he criticized the president for the actions of his real ministers. And he thinks that because the president is corrupt and that's why um, um, uh, the officials are also being corrupt. And, and if I if I want to ask you a question now concerning Mr. Cummings, uh, the first one I want to ask is that, do you think if Ta Wumwe are not going into the NEMA uh, elections, do you think uh, uh, Ms. Ide, Mistress Ide uh, Gongru Wei who have won? Okay. Before I answer your question, let me say this to you. No decision is right until it is right. Every decision we make in life we don't know if it's right or not. But now I can tell you, if Ty Wombe was not in that race, yes, he's never going to win. Because Thank I look you. at the margin. Wait, 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 that's wait. where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Because I look at the margin. But before then, I would not be convinced easily that, oh, he's never going to win. You know, we got to stop their big names and think that the other men don't have a chance. Every librarian has a chance to go into a race. It is your right or it is a privilege to serve. So now I can tell you, oh, wow, if Ty was not in the race, then maybe his school was going to go to Edith. That's it. But by then yeah. it could turn the other way and Ty would be bright. You see? So okay. that's the thing. All right. And, and my follow up, Mr. So, please, and let me yeah. just complete the question. And, and I thank you for that answer. It's quite elaborate. And But here's what I want to say. Uh, if you think, do you think there was any way that, uh, uh, Honorable Cummings, who have shown leadership in making sure that one ticket existed from the CPP in Nima County? 
If not, no, what, no. what do you think that he, he can was, be president and do better? Okay. He was the leader of the CPP. Mr. Comis called Tar one way. Being a leader of ANC and CPP, he still don't have that right over Tar one way. Tar one way can leave ANC and wish he's not part of ANC right now. He can leave ANC and say, you know what? I'm going on my own. You know, I said something about this whole collaboration, the, 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 the arrangement. You know, I believe in primaries should be held if, a, if it isn't accounted. Let all the candidates go for a primary or open primary that it, the citizen will vote. Now, if the citizen vote and you lost that primary, you will not be brave to go into the general election. But when you're having this primary with delegates and having primaries, and, and if a other political leader say that I have the right to change my delegates and last minute of time, like the convention, the, the, the primary tomorrow, and I change them today, then you start having a problem. If you have four political parties, if you allow these four candidates to go into an open primary, like in Nimba County, where the citizen will vote, and say yes this is the man we're carrying trust me if you lose you will never be brave to go into that election but if i go there with a uh, 10 10 10 and the other 10 vote against me and i'm looking at whenever i go camping i see about two thousand people standing in front of me i think i got a shot that is a mistake because no money in liberia that is why we're having we should it, it, i hate it that ten four of people should choose candidates to root to lead a whole nation it's wrong it's wrong we need to do it so, better okay, okay. Now, let, let me hold your eye i deliver okay. folks this is the liberia public radio conversations uh, in real time civility is our hallmark so i know somebody might be disappointed if you come for some sort of entertainment amusement here this is a news network we go strictly to the issues and try to maintain civility at all times deliver yeah, Mr. So, I, I, uh, you're listening to the general. Yeah, I'm listening keenly, and I am true to be honest with you, I'm enjoying it as well. Uh, I don't agree with him, but I, I mean, that's his view. And, and, and but at the same time, I'm as an order, I'm enjoying his, 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 his uh, ethic here this evening, and I'm truly, truly enjoying uh, what he's saying and what have you. Now, let's let's let, let me be a little bit pragmatic here, Mr. So I think in these type of situation, uh, when we come to these kind type of forum where we're discussing national issues, uh, Liberia, that is, but we have to uh, sometimes uh, look at situation and say, OK, what can we get out of it? Uh, you know, one of the things that, that I don't leave my audience inside Liberian situation, Mr. Okay, so, don't see, that's, one that's, that's, that's one of the things you, you do and you do well. But now no, you're gonna, yeah, because you're trying your best now to sanction the liberal progressive, and this is what you do, and that's why this is when I turn over and then show you my liberal side of things. I'm trying to be as much as 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 according to you conservative this evening. So please let me just come your way a little bit, and then and of course I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna flip over here very shortly. But no, Mr. So to be honest with you, the Liberian situation especially those of all who believe in uh, the opposition, the collaborating political parties. Uh, I believe in it because I am a member of Liberty Party USA. Let me say that again. Liberty Party member USA, not Liberia. Now, however, those of all that follow the political uh, arena in the arena of Liberia and what, ha what have you, we believe strongly that in order for us to defeat Dr. Weir and the CDC, we first of all have to be serious on how, on how we discuss this issue. What do I mean by that, Mr. Sof? Mr. Cummings, highly educated, professional, businessman, tycoon, he, brought, he lifted himself through the bootstrap of his own. He didn't ride on people's sweat, that I know. However, Mr. Comey is also, and I don't mean, I'm not trying to be uh, old, young, it's not my thing. I'm old myself, but I'm only 25 years old. Now, Mr. Comey 
in this type of context, compared to uh, Dr. Bakai, he's a little bit younger. Dr. Bakai, let us be serious. We must not push Cummings to go alone because Cummings will not win. Simple, simple. There is nothing you're going to do. Are you coming in with a drum? So please, hold on one second. I, I am in charge. Are you coming with Boyka drum beat here this evening? Mr. So, I can come over whatever drum beat I have. And please let me finish my statement if you don't mind. You are in charge, but at the same time, this is a public a forum. You can't throw your weight around because you're in charge. This is not Charles Stiller administration. This is oh, not Dr. Weir administration. This is a public library, public radio forum where, where it doesn't matter who's in charge, you give the people the opportunity to express themselves freely. Freedom of speech, if you, don't, if you don't mind. So don't throw your weight around. I'm in charge. You're in charge, but I'm entitled to make my view. So please, respect the audience and respect the platform that we all sit on. Forget about who's in charge. Now that I've dressed you, let me go on. Mr. So, this issue that I'm trying to raise about uh, Comey, Comey, if I was in their shoes, if I was advising, if I was part of their group, I will advise Kumi to strongly go beneath Dr. Baka, go second to Dr. Baka. Dr. Baka, as I see it, I could be wrong, will not, and I don't believe that Dr. Baka will try to seek the second turn, having, having had the opportunity to defeat Dr. We are in CDC. So if you, Kumi, comes in second, Dr. Baka most likely will not go second turn. And if he, even if he's tried, many of the people that support that his supporters and even those who are independent will say no. This is in fact that's supposed to be part of the negotiation. But if you go and challenge Dr. Bakai and say you 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 you're being accepted by the people, you will split the opposition. And when the opposition is split, I Samson Toll will put my application as a member of the ruling coalition party cdc in as much as i hate to do that so because then i know cdc will be there for another another six years and then after that in fact because after that six years i will predict that whoever comes in, in cdc ticket will then flock the opposition once more this is the time this is the best time we have come together have dr baka as head of this of this coalition Cummings comes second and Kumi next time will definitely, because by that time, he would have shown himself. If Kumi is honest, if Kumi is one of the best, as people are saying, he will still show that character as vice president. He's not going to be corrupt because he's vice president. And he will not be part of a corrupt system as vice president, because that's not going to be his character. So I think we have to do it and do it sensibly. Okay, okay. let me bring you. Uh, hold on, let me bring in the general here. To, uh, we bring him here, uh, and I think they are trying to get under the skin. And I made a perfect prediction here that this liberal from Tota is about to enjoy to create a drum beat of a uh, boycott. You know, in Tota, they have the thing what they call susu you eat to murder matter. Eat. So he is saying that uh, literally, uh, that boycott should be the one to eat, then the uh, comic can eat, eat uh, the second time. Uh, the general. Yeah, and Mr. Samsi Brandt, oh, thanks for yeah. your delivery. What is happening in the political corridor the, within the bellway, within the commentators section, uh, within the ordinary supporters uh, or fans of these people? That's why you see unveiling right now. Yeah. How serious? Uh, well, thank you. Uh, let me say this one before I start. Let me uh, uh, so I did so I did some research on you and I'm not changing the topic. You're one of Liberia's finest journalists. Sorry that you live in America because people like you, if you're in Liberia, maybe you might be serving some time behind bars if the, if the government will not listen to you. But I like the way you do your thing. But you see, I respect Mr. Brown oh, no, when he no, said no, that, no. His, that his are view. You, are you saying me as a journalist? Or oh, come on. Say, I say so. The, look, I, I have to make this guy to think his name. Oh yeah. my oh, goodness. It's creating problem. Why, why are you trying to no. interrupt? Kishan, go ahead. 
Okay. Go ahead, I, General. Go ahead. I respect Go ahead. your views, Mr. Brown and To. I respect your views. But let me say this. Age is not leadership. Age is not leadership. And the age of Matusula has no do the wisdom of Solomon. Let that one clear. And if my memory can serve me right, Ellen Johnson, I don't know if I try to put up with comments now and say what the ex which type of experience she had because I know she was finance minister on a turbo and turbo remover and she went to World Bank and worked other places and went back to Liberia to run for president and we gave her that position. At the same time, Mr. Cummings, with a Liberian story, who started late, born in Montserrado County, went to Nimba County, Tapeta, grew up in uh, 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 Point Four. His father from Maryland, and he never saw Maryland before, went to demonstration, CWA, and then going. And Mr. So I will advise you if you can put us back because uh, then I enjoy oh. it like I'm coming, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, no, yeah, yeah, like this now, then it's, it's like we're having a conversation. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. are the guest here this evening. We're going yeah. well. I so it's not against our policy. This man graduated, came to the States, and went back home, worked in Liberia, and decided to leave. The first guy, 36 years old, went as vice president on a Pittsburgh food company. And then from there, he applied to Coca Cola. He ran Coca Cola in Nigeria and then Africa. He lived in South Africa. He lived in England. He lived in Morocco, Kenya, and all Good. around. And CFO. Good. He has the experience. Now, Mr. Boaka, I wish I respect a lot. Mr. Boaka, the companies, they are very, two farm people. Very good. Mr. Boaka served in government, LPRC, LPMC, and, 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 and Minister of Agriculture. He was fired. But I'm not saying in government, if the president fire you sometime, maybe because you're not part of his party, or you don't want to do certain so you went to the will and pleasure of the president but what came out and said oh the president fired you then ellen brought him in but mr Barker did not ever try to run for president when ellen took him when ellen was running around mr Barker never even thought about it ellen brought him in as president as vice president nobody run for vice president so to say that mr Comey should go as vice president that one I dismiss that. Nobody get up in a sound mound and say, I'm going to run for vice president. Now, Ellen took Mr. Boyka. He served Ellen correctly. He did everything to his best. He was the last man in that room after cabinet meetings, according to him. And the vice president always served in a two role. Like he goes to cabinet meetings and also he's the president of the Senate. 12 good years he served. I'm not going to hold him for what Ellen did, but I can hold him for what Ellen did because Ellen is not on a ballot. She's no more around. You are the second man. A good leader, take responsibility because Liberians are crying that unity party put them into this mess. So what a leader would do? Do you, take not, to take, not to interrupt, not to interrupt you, General. Do you agree with that? Unity party put us into this mess. You agree with that? Well, some of the things I agree to it. Like a lot of stuff, I can name them. A lot of things I agree. No, because, I just want to. Okay, I just want to. Yes, yeah, go ahead. I agree Carry to on. it. So, and even United you know, Party people agree to it. Most of them to agree. And then, black out out there. The only thing I heard, we scrambled a lot of opportunities. Then you confuse me, because Ellen did some good stuff, and it did some bad stuff. Not every government will be good. Just like the George Weah government doing some good stuff. And although they get more bad stuff, but they're doing some good stuff. Now, what was the bad things that Ellen did that you are aware of? Tell me, because if you are the candidate for CPP, when I go out there to campaign, I can tell you, say, listen, he was not the leader, but he took full responsibility and he's going to fix it. We have not heard that yet. Mr. Cummings is into the race. He came from another political party. Every political party runs on their own. They control themselves. It is Mr. Cummings' right to sell himself. He's not criticizing Boaka. The differences between Boaka and Mr. Cummings, they are two different, they have two different visions. Mr. Boaka and uh, Mr. Cummings explain his vision. He continued to explain it. But when librarian people don't like it, they say, but stay, I can't understand what you're saying because 
I don't want to be part of it. So I stay can understand. Mr. Baka came out the other day. Mr. Cummings is the first political leader in Liberia who lost an election and started visiting the people in January and have visited and continued to travel the country. As a political leader, you both around and find out that because of Mr. Cummings, President Weir had to start his, he got onto his, his, his counter tour. Because of Mr. Cummings, Mr. Bwaka decided to come up. Because if, according to a record, and you will bear me for that, every politician in Liberia, when they lost the election, you don't see them again until after four, four years coming to the, it happened to Georgia. Okay, let, me, let, me, let me hold you right now. We are not doing a roll up getting here in a pack here to keep going okay. and going. Now, you say that uh, Cummings is not a, he's a businessman, he's not a politician, he's not corrupt. So how can you reconcile this? He's not, which of course we haven't seen anything to uh, surface uh, for that matter. Hopefully it doesn't uh, in the injury and strap it down. But how can you reconcile when he's been embedded with some of these uh, corrupt people that you have uh, differences uh, with in society? So where are we putting that? How can we put this on the radar? I'm not a rogue, I'm not a thief, but all of my guys, my booties are, you know, principal suspects. Okay, good. So what's the French is that? Uh, one thing we do in Liberia, we all assume we prosecute people in the public code of opinion. That's what so we you are making. So you are making assumption. Yeah, we do that. No, no, we do that oh, all you, the time. You, you no, are no. Said I can no. I was not making assumption that Ellie Johnson government was wrong because I can tell you when she came out and said I took full responsibility of my son failure. That means there was an audit that went on and she took full responsibility, and we saw her physically supporting George Weah brought him over her vice president we saw all that but what's about when, okay and let me put let me put this here let's be a little bit factual here concrete and not abstract let's see here these are the people here who are the faces of the collaboration you see your yeah. guy there uh, ellis come i believe it's a navy blue suit uh the only female there nyombi kaga lauren yeah. this is yeah. a guy in the middle there in a higher higher suit like wedding to richard tubber and yeah it's banana yuri here in his pocket uh, is it and I see even show anything that he is a leader. But this is a guy who just alluded that he did not take responsibility of the 12 years. He has not come out to tell her, okay, this was good, this was bad. But your guy is hanging out with me. Yes. And you know, into politics, when you are running for the same office, I try to explain your fault to give me a chance. Politics is not a good thing. But the people you just put out there, I will be honest with you, if they see PP holes, any one of them can be George Weir. Anyone. Anyone over there, their leadership star will is better than President Weir. I tell you today. Yes, we must say they have the 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 the, the, the shuffle, they work in the past government, they are connected to this and that, but they will stay triumph over President Weir. Now you the pictures you put out there, the pictures that you put out there. You have three who work in government, who everything they earn in life, it came from government. And you have one person, like Mr. Brown said, who started from nowhere, went to a company where no man and pa, and went all the way to his peak and work and continue to work. Because if you don't make it, if you don't produce, you will not make it in that situation. Now he's retired and went back home. He is the politics. But I tell you today, you see all politicians, you can push them aside. They're already 30% ahead of you. They do, do not push all politicians. And especially for Liberia, it's not an easy thing for Liberians to forget all politicians. If they know your face, they will call your name, call your name until you will wear away. Now, they're looking, oh, we don't know Mr. Cummings. We don't know Mr. Because Mr. Cummings, he starts, some people think he's too soft, some people think he's too dead. He's not showing up. But if you know about this guy, you will understand. And most of our people say that, oh, Mr. Cummings is a good man. But I think he should go as vice president. Where's the bot coming from? You just said he's good. He has a lot to bring to the table. But if you are vice president, you only answer to the president. You are a message until the president tells you to move. And if you disagree with the president, then you will be like George Weir and Joel. Then it's another problem that means you're trying to honor the president. Until you leave our office, you are free to speak. For example, the Barack administration was a bad administration, bad so badly 
Joe Biden, no matter what happened, he was never going to be because when the people of North Carolina, South Carolina say, listen, this is our man because of Barack, we will stand with this guy and that's it. So that's what happened. So I'm saying that uh, uh, Cummings is the best man. The only thing maybe they will say, they will try to bring that Congo race. Oh, Mr. Cummings is a Congo man because they need Cummings. Oh, Mr. Cummings hanging out with UP and whatsoever. But I said it again, if you have an honest Do leader, think, yeah, before I bring all the corrupt politicians will fall mm -hmm. in line and they will be they will, they, will, they, will, they will be okay. Okay, before widow and uh, the liberal comes in here, let me ask you, do you think uh the Cummings has been alienated? Uh, is he being seen as an outsider who is not uh uh per perhaps not likable? Or uh, do you think uh, he's been silent uh, within their own uh, bubble there? Yes, I will tell you, yes, that's how they see Mr. Cummings, and I have facts on that. According to Mr. Yuri, Yuri made a statement that he explained himself. Oh, you know, Mr. Boaka had been around for a long time. He had been tested. He was vice president. He was this, this, this. Oh, Mr. Cummings came from nowhere. He left from here 25 years. He came back. Then you want us to hand over to him? And Mr. Boaka himself said the same thing. Liberians will not give the country to no stranger. Stranger. The order the one, the order okay. The one. Those are the things I wanted to get it out from. The, yeah, I wanted to get it out from the general. Let me bring in Wido and then the, the liberal progressive, and I will push on drive with, with the further. The liberal, yes, you seem to be the step and down harder because you are one of uh, you are you your party is one of uh, the creative from what I'm seeing now, and the need to come forward. And that's the, the frustration with some of us here, the GOL, the collaborations. There is no cohesiveness. They all speak in different tones, different languages, different uh, messages. Come in, come in, uh, uh, Ben and I, you were on the other side, and I've said it over and over based on the two interviews I've had with him. Ben and I, you is in this to protect his wealth, period. That's it. Boyka, so who... Breaker, who happens to be uh, the guy who should be the uh, the big door in the building, he's also saying those sort of things. And yet they are telling us that this collaboration, this sort of marriage, uh, without nobody to ordain it in the church, they're still pretending that this wedding, this, this, they're going to hold. Where hold? The liberal. Well, it has to. It, it has to. They, they they have no other choice. It must. Are you choking on voice here this evening, Mr. So? Please don't. They, they, don't uh, they, 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 this is the liberal. The worries are just like water to me. I drink them, and I spill them out as much as possible. I am from Toad Town. I'm not an Englishman. I don't know English. But if 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 I'm trying to speak a language that I don't understand, it becomes difficult. I speak my dialect. If you don't understand it, too bad. So I, I I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. Please uh, put me back on the on the screen. Thank <laughs> yeah, man. Please, I thank you. It look good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> now now you're gonna have the general asking you to put him back, and then I, immediately after that you're gonna bring me on. Uh, like, no, he went to request. To... That's all. Maybe he went to just request for it. Well, well, we, 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 he's supposed to, this is the Ooh. man you claim that he's the best journalist in the entire, uh, Archelon of that side of things that concern. Now he's been you, one, of right best, now. one of the yeah. best, one of the best. Okay. I just, I'm just saying that he's being biased here right. by you, by him put, making me larger and, and, and accepting to your request. So <laughs> I, I, I don't want to go, but no, Mr. So, uh, let's, let's go back to your question. This uh, political collaboration. This going to have to hold. And let me say this again. Liberia is suffering right now. Mr. George, please fix your camera. Why? Don't let him upside down. Is that me upside down? I want to let him to interview you. Oh, my goodness. Go, go ahead. Yeah. The, the, go central ahead. Right, the central right is here with us, and uh, he can't position himself yet. Okay, go center, go center, center right. Anyway, Mr. So, let's let me continue with this on a very <laughs> serious note. We're going to have to come together. There's no question, ice. We cannot come out of this thing and say, uh, 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 uh Cummings must be. If I if I was involved, I would advise Cummings. 
to go second. Now, then let me say one other thing, and perhaps then you're going to come out and accuse me of speaking both sides of my mouth. Uh, no problem. Uh, that's what I do. Uh, 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 Dr. Baca, just, be, just based on the two interviews that I have watched lately, does not come across as someone who is supposed to be the father of the nation and will be the father of the nation as a unifier. So I think Cummings, why he might not have the numbers? The election is about numbers. Cummings don't have the numbers. Simple as that. Baka King second, Dr. Weir. What is the Dr. application? Let's have, some tool. Let's have a conversation here, please. Uh, what is the application? What is the tool? Uh, what is the meta now that uh, making such a prediction? He does not have the numbers. Mr. Sir, what was coming? What was coming standing this last election? Let's let's base on that. What base on what base? I'm basing my statement on, on past election and history. Okay. Baka I, King I, I, just, I just want to bring make our okay. bring our folks to that's, speak. That's fine. So so with that kind of understanding, Kumi has something that is going for him. Kumi is going to have to reintroduce himself to the young people by coming second to Baka. It's only six years. Only six years. Kumi is still young. If Kumi comes out, I would predict, if Kumi comes out and say, I want to be, and they said, just said the, the population or the collaborating political party accepts Kumi to be the standard bearer. Kumi going to get flock. There's no question asked because he doesn't have the numbers. Can, can I he come in there, please? have the numbers. And so Baka have the number. Let's use that opportunity with Baka number, push Kumi on a Baka. Baka wins the election. Six years later, Kumi will then stand tall because everybody would have seen what Kumi is capable of doing. Kumi cannot do nothing right now because he's not in any power. But if Kumi was was with with with, with Mr. Baka as his vice president, you think somebody would shut Kumi up? You think Joshua Baka able to park Kumi in the garage? Okay. It wouldn't happen. Those are the kinds of stuff that I'm looking at. So okay. let's continue to encourage Kumi to go second, knowing for the world, Kumi will not be parked in the garage, and Kumi will express himself. But in the process, Liberians will now look at Kumi and say, okay, this is the man we want the next time around. Let's be okay. practical here. Uh, Papa Josh, our senior contributor from Atlanta, Georgia, thank you for joining this forum here. Let me switch gear here. We're going to come back to our special guest. Just listen to all of the sampling methods and uh, thoughts coming in, and then you're going to tie a uh, coin it as once. I, Wither. Yes, Mr. So, and thank you. And I've been listening to everyone's con concern. But here's what I'm going to say the entire CPP is a deck of jokers. No matter which card you pull out, will be a joker. So the thing, what I, the way I see it is that I don't, I don't want to delve into their internal, you know, uh, politics. What I do want to, to say is that whoever comes to face the CDC will be defeated, and here is why. I think uh, there's no leadership in the C CPP. I think what they are doing, they are scrambling for power, and Liberia is not ready for anyone who is just want to come and grab. And that's what the CPP. PP is up to. So there's no way CPP is going to win any elections here comes 2023. But what here is what I want to put to the general um, uh, about the leadership. Because look, when I ask questions, I go, you know, in chronological order with my questioning so that it makes a logical conclusion. The reason I asked those series of questions from the beginning was because I want to look at the leadership of uh, Mr. Cummings. And because Mr. Cummings comes on the radio every time to criticize the government because of uh, investigative report that don't surface. If he said they don't see anything is happening because nothing has happened. I just want to ask the general, general, do you have the report of the uh, fighting that even uh, 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 resulted into the bloodshed of Liberians in Nima County when uh, 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 there was a, a primary between uh, um, Mr. Tawombi and, 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 and Ms. Mrs. Gwe? So is there any report? Is there any report that you can point to that came out to tell exactly what happened and what was the conclusive end that, that, that was derived? So can you also ask about maybe the auditors, the missing boys, and all of these other ones there? Is a no, 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 no. Let, let Mr. Sue, no, no, let, let, excuse, excuse me, excuse me, the general. Let me let me let me address Mr. Sue's concern. Look, no, I'm just asking, it, can you ask that if no, then the general No, 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 no. Because look, that's the question he's gonna to pose to me. Okay. I cannot pose okay. it to him because okay. I, 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 I represent I represent an interest. 
No, but the reason the reason I'm not going to ask the questions. I'm 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 posting this question to the general because I want him to to tell the Liberian people because look, this happened just within his palace rank. This happened only because uh, because there was a primary in his party. So the party is a small little group that they cannot investigate. Talk less of the entire country that is being investigated or something that is happening in a, on a larger scale. So I just want to okay. tell us what is what what is the hold up to that report coming to the public. And, and and if he has any 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 grounds of which he's going to criticize the government for not bringing out a report when a little report a little incident happened almost uh, uh, six months ago there's uh, no well, report that is, to it that is response okay. so i bring in that and George, Rita, I, I will tell you before i start i will tell you this you owe no one apology of supporting president we are or the cdc thank you it is your right no problem but let me say this who makes appointment in government is the president. Who collect somebody having a sound too much? Somebody microphone is yeah. Uh, somebody George, microphone you know? too much hey, air. Can you hear me? I don't have any sound. Okay, yeah, too much air. Ahead, okay, see. I think. It. Okay, now it's, every it's, it's political it's party it's in Liberia. You got to cut it off or whatever. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Every political party or every Liberian in Liberia pay taxes to government. Opposition don't make appointment, the government make appointment. Now you're talking about political parties bring up a report. Don't you know that's the police and the present government responsibility to provide security to every political party when having a convention or any election is done by the police. In this country, the police will go there. And the police will arrest people. But in Liberia, the police do not provide security for oppositions. They have their own securities. No, no, don't shake your head. They have their own security. We expect the government of Liberia to provide security for every political party during elections. They must be on the scene. So if you have voters or members causing problems, taking off knives, and doing other things, and nobody there they should do the internal investigation when they didn't i don't have that report but when they did an internal investigation they could not find anybody they saw this person from Edith. they saw this person for time one way they saw another person there who started a fight so it's not commission's responsibility to go on that fee to go and get a report because Comis was not at that scene at the time he was oh. not there okay. no no he was not there but no no just we are everywhere but just we are everywhere excuse me President, we are controls the police, the military, every security apparatus in Liberia reports to the president. So every me, oh, incident, so administrative report cannot chance. come up. No, no, no. Uh, no. Uh, uh, let me let me learn and let, let me tell you how the whole, and I'll bring in let the whole government work. I'm just telling you, in America, where and you live in on the other side, when you are in a political party and during a campaign time, the government assign you with security you want to do that for so no one can attack you or to do anything you are there for law and order but you refuse to give opposition and security i was in 2018 when my brother was running we wrote the library national police to give us police because we went somewhere that was a problem they told us to provide vehicles and we should be prov we should be responsible for the feeding and other stuff other stuff so we said but then okay that's the case then we rather use our own security to protect ourselves so it's far different president we are is aware of everything he can sleep and he gets that information in the fingertip it mean that president we are on the scene but it's like in your house if your son goes out and cause a trouble and you don't say anything the parents are responsible for the children's action. In the military, okay. the commander is responsible of anything that happened in the military. Okay. <laughs> Let me bring in uh, Amos Joy from Atlanta. He's a senior contributor to uh, analyst here to the Liberia Public Radio. Apa Joy, you know, that's the name. Uh, can I uh, Mr. So, I'm not cutting you off because I have to go to, I have to uh, 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 talk to Mr. Brown too because he made a statement before. He was saying oh. something before, uh, 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 and Mr. Okay, Widow. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, Mr. Mr. George, let, 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 let my, my friend sure? come I don't, want to, I don't want your no, no, no. to go. 
No, no, no. Let him come in. Then I will, I will, I will respond to. Okay. Okay, fire in the hole. They are uh, the opposition clashing out here. They are about to clash right here on the network. But let me bring in Emma George here to see whether he can stabilize this uh, conversation here. But George, you've been listening for a little while now. Look, the apprehension is still there from my side. The problem the GOL is having, the opposition entered very suddenly, and very few of them. Uh, they still try to do this sort of salad dressing here that they don't want to admit. They are not coming clean. They are not doing enough. There's still a problem. And you listen to the general here, the words used by the vice president. When I gave our people, it reminds me of uh, Donald Trump. We got to take our country back. Who are they taking it from? I don't know the hell who they are taking the country from. Exactly. This is not this guy. Kume is being seen as an outsider. Uh, he's, he seems to be a rejected guy, but yet and still, he's still within this thing. So tell me. How can this thing on planet Earth hold? Go ahead. Uh, let me say this good, uh, good evening to the general and to Mr. Widow. Uh, you know, for every institution people go into come together, there will all be problems. And the problem will, so it will be work up. But there are issues that opposition need to take care on. Uh, the opposition, there is the issue of mistrust, which of you will be in an institution. The Boakai folk don't trust comments, and the comments folk don't trust Boakai, the Euro folks don't trust uh, comments. Mm -hmm. So this is the issue now that they are trying to grapple with. And you can see clearly, I follow all these guys, the Benina Yuri and the Boakai, they have the plan what, what I would term as identity politics. There's something that they're trying to play around, Congo country. And they don't want to come out to say a border, but they use this phrase that if you understand the policy of Liberia, you know straight what they're driving at. When I listened to Bucket, the, our vice president interview the last time, he said the same thing, strangers. Will not get out to anybody to, 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 to anybody. Now, who is the anybody? These are words they use like a coded language they're using to refer to Arizona coming as one of those American Congo boys. This is what they're doing. Or, so or perhaps this is just to say maybe this is this is another Helen Johnson Salive. If you look, if you listen to that language, he's not all, he's not one of us. Yes, so this is what they're playing. And because of that, Comey had decided to go to the people. He's not meeting the people, talking to the people. So there's this problem that they're all fighting on the ground for this presidency. And the thing I tell people, nobody go into any competition with the master that I'm going to come second. I have not seen that. We saw it when Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama were running. When they had a uh, 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 elected the, the campaign, here. we saw Biden, President Biden, and Kamala Harris. So what Kamala Harris did to Joe Biden on stage at that time came after him very hard. But after the primary, Joe Biden decided, "Hey, I will pick her." There's so many that came up, but he decided he will go for her. So this is the thing I tell people: if we just say, "Oh," Come, should go as VP behind Borkan. There's something is mentally wrong with coming to say, I will go as VP. Let the primary play out. The result come up. Who is the nominee? Then they can decide who to put in. If Borkan become top of the ticket and he wants coming, he can do it. If coming want to take Borkan, if he come on top of the ticket, he can do it. But for someone to say, hey, I'm declaring myself as VP to go for VP, then something is fundamentally wrong so, with that person. Okay. Okay, before the general comes in here, and I will add that to that to, to respond to it. You said there is some mistrust, and I try to sense that out. As yeah. long as these issues are not sorted out, and you make a reference to Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. So the question now, does our politician, do they have that political maturity? 
with all these languages and words of uh, still being used by with people within the uh, within the collaboration, just reinforcing the CDC or the seditions to use those one here. So I don't know what are they going to turn the wheel on their head. Do you think at the end of the day, would they have that political maturity to say let it go as it was? settle as that dot was settled to even bring those one of those people within their proximity because the trust is not there so that sort of apprehension will be there yeah they will do it because yes the thing here they have made a co commitment to the liberian people oh please hold on now they have made a commitment to the liberian people and now this spotlight is on them so anybody that pull all that alcohol operation will not go anywhere would not go anywhere. And let me give you another example. Look at the folks from ben, uh, Bernie Sanders, the uh, Bernie Sanders folks. And even with Hillary Clinton, they came to Bernie again. We saw that rift up between those who supported Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden. There was some split among those folks. But because they wanted to defeat Donald Trump, they had to come together to work out something to move on. So I would not rule that out among the Liberian people. Because okay. if they want to move George we are, that's what they need to do. And let me just okay. comment on something. A question uh, Wito asked or uh, the general about report from the incident in Nima County. Let me say this. If the police, if any Liberian citizen or any premise or anybody property is hurt. It's the responsibility of the police to invest to inquire about that violence, what led to that person being hurt. If there was an elect electoral violence where people took policies, measured it, gone. The police has a responsibility to hold the political party responsible and do a proper investigation to bring the corporate to book. But the, if the police cannot do so, the party doesn't have prosecutorial power. They can investigate a member and say, okay, don't do it again. We'll, we'll suspend you. That's it. That's but it. The, government okay. is the, the government is responsible. So, let's do it this way. Let us uh, direct the question to us here. I, I okay. really want to get all out of it. So, uh, the general, I go ahead. I know there are a couple of things you wanted to I. Uh, Okay, thank you again, and uh, thanks, and uh, uh, my friend George. I haven't seen him in a long time, uh, <laughs> Mr. George, uh, yeah. and, and, and we don't, you know, yeah. it's a nice conversation. And I want people out there who listen to us to understand that I, I'm personally not in the business of attacking Bwaka, but we must compare the records, we must make the case, and there is no way you make your case without. There's not two persons in the CPP right now that we know want to run for president. But let me go to Mr. So and Mr. Uh, and Brown said that Mr. Baka has the numbers. UP has the numbers. And I don't want us to live in 2016, 2017. Please. You know, it's difficult. I understand we sometimes look at the past and think that the future will be good. UP don't have the numbers anymore. Do you take you ever took into consideration that the UP former chairman who worked for United People and for the uh, United Party was this he was the, the chairman the chairman and according to him he was pushed on the bus now he's the chairman of the Liberal Liberation Party have you taken into consideration that he have recruited up members into his party no two mr cummins he was amongst 21 candidates a new guy he took fifth place i agree with you he took fifth place united party been a ruling party could not deliver the number that ellen one way but i came short with over 400 plus and we tried to help him in the second round and it could not be because the people decided even united party partisan voted against mr Baca. if unity party believe and think that they have this number in district 13 district 13 where they had a representative an independent what are he from cdc one they had another candidate 
uh, what her name, uh, Francis, who contested in Montserrado County. And they had the numbers uh, in that election. My brother participated in that election. The total vote in that entire election was on 100,000. She came almost, she came on the blue. In Cape Mount, you still show me that you have the numbers, but let me say this to you. ANC is the fastest growing political party in Liberia, apart from CDC. And Mr. Cummings is, is the fastest growing politician, apart from George Weah, who came 2002, based on his football legend and people love him and went so fast, never tasted the wrath of a politics and went that far. Mr. Cummings is the next one in line, who people, everybody calling his name. And when you hear people calling your names, they don't just call your name because they want to call your name. Cummings met Ben Ayure in Monrovia. Ben Ayure got 24,000 votes in the entire country because Maryland got 24,000. So I can just say maybe I was getting the Maryland vote. 24,000 votes. But let me say this, Mr. Mr. Brown, right now as we speak neck have registered two million four hundred and seventy six thousand three hundred and fifty voters one of the largest in our history so far in Montserrado alone they got eight hundred eighty one thousand and some thirty five thousand uh, thirty five votes and you see this United Party should stop talking about numbers the voters yesterday, they are not the voters today. First fool is fool, but second fool is not fool. So what have you sent out in that in that I voted? Are you getting some data from the ANC? I'm get, no, 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 no. I'm getting data from NEC. NEC. A NEC website. I'm just getting I'm, I'm going to say off air. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm going to miss little numbers. But what I'm saying here, I don't believe in this numbers thing. Liberian love past glory. That some people believe that George Weah can still play for Liberian national team. Liberian people say that all the time. Oh, that may stay good. Let us start this thing. I know we capitalizing on the knowledge of our people and we try to give the wrong information. But I will tell you until that number, you can show that number, but as far as I'm concerned, you people don't have it. Now, in the CPP, no one man can just be George Weah. Coming 2023, it's not a baby election. Let us be honest with ourselves. Even okay. if you defeat George, oh, okay. it's not it's not an easy thing. Okay, before the, the liberal uh, respond here, I uh, for discussion purposes, no one man can beat George Weir. Exactly. If the CDC, uh, not the CDC, if the collaboration was to get fractured today, what does that mean from the political process? One thing I will tell you, for what I know, I don't believe that they will, and if they will break apart. It will not come from Mr. Cummings. It will come from the UP because on my show, they have said it and I interviewed some and they said it claim that they will not. In fact, at the end of this year, if they do not come to consensus, they might break away. That's well, their so that view. the authenticity, what transparency on your show now because you are a sympathizer of uh, Alexander Cummings. So obviously all of your talking points will most likely be directed into the yes. good qualities and good governing aspect of uh alexander Cummings. so now there will be apprehensions of giving unity party or other folks within the opposition because there is a huge fight going on here so who's going to be the head of this thing here so then how, how can you square now, those on, on my show if i come up and say if mr Boyka come us as the winner of the unity part of the CPP, I will campaign for the CPP if Mr. Baka is the standard bearer. But if I'm interviewing, I say, listen, I will. And you tell me, say, well, I can't answer that question. I say, will you support Mr. Cummings if he's the standard bearer? Well, I can't say this, but I will listen to what my political leaders say. That means it's like you're not giving me a definite question. Answer. Okay. I'm saying this because my political leader. Which are supporting him when I say I don't like to say political leader because I must be in the party to be my political leader. A man who are supporting can tell me. I ask the question, Mr. Cummings, will you go as VP? And he uh, and will you support the CPP if you're not the standard bearer? He said yes, I will. If the 
process is fair, I will I will support the CP. The ANC will go nowhere. The process is fair. That's a condition here. Let me hold you right oh, yeah, there. No, 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 no. Because we know what happened in Liberia. So okay. I was going to say the same thing too. <laughs> okay, let me bring in the liberal and widow here. The liberal. Uh, yeah. The general came at you. Well, not really. He just does, doesn't agree with the point that I'm making, which is okay with me. I mean, he's entitled to that as well. Uh, basically, Mr. So, what I'm saying here, and I think uh, if we go deeper, uh, that's exactly, I think everyone will, will, will try to get on board with it. And that is, Mr. So, uh, Mr. Comey, uh, the fact that he's, he's, he's behind, let's put it this way, in terms of true recognition in name recognition in Liberia. And the fact that many people uh, will use quoted words to try, that those I don't agree with them. And, and I'm not on board with that kind of tactic. The only reason that I'm saying that we need to have uh, Mr. Comey to go second to Dr. Bakai is because of numbers, number one. Second, if, if I were advising Comey I will try for us to go in the smarter way, and that is go second to Dr. Bakai, which then you don't even have room. You're not giving the, the UP any room uh, to try to bring in any kinds of uh, diverse ideas among us. Go second to Mr. Mr. Bak Dr. Bakai. Dr. Bakai becomes president. Mr. Comey would then, in, in, in doing so, I would suggest that there should be some sort of a negotiation. And in the negotiation process, that Kumi should make it clear to everyone that I'm going second. But here are the conditions. And for me, one of the conditions would be that, that Dr. Baka may make it clear as part of his, his uh, accepting Kumi to go second, that he's not going to seek re-election. That Kumi then will, will be given the opportunity to do so. Well, they, should sign, they should sign a treaty. That's, that's negotiation, Mr. So. I can throw in anyone. I want to put palm butter in there. I can throw in there. That's my negotiation. You have the right to negotiate the way you want. So the second thing is, if Dr. Bakai would not agree to that, if Dr. Bakai would so, not agree. You know, I, I got to interrupt you here a little bit here. Look, I, I don't know where you guys coming from. What sort of itinerary is that? What is a uh, practical theory or whatever type theory coming from? This person will go first. This person will go spoil because why can't be in this place yet? So wait a minute. When will my son, my daughter, right? Will take, will, will be, and that's what I want to see George Lobo and all of those people, boy cap, boy cap. This guy being in government for all of these years, when will we show, when will we bring out new faces for the country? When will this generational change come? And Dr. White, I'm gonna do this, Dr. White. Something told. Mr. So, my reason of suggesting this is very simple, and I'm being pragmatic again. It's very, very simple. Numbers, numbers. Now, Dr. Bakai, Dr. Bakai, <sighs> once he accept to have Kumi number two, knowing full of well who Kumi is. Kumi is not the person. He's not Johnny come lately. He's not, he's not just coming to Liberia. Kumi knows this, the, the, the Liberian culture. Kumi is a Liberian. There's no question asked. So if Kumi, who also will be on record as saying to the Liberian people, I'm going second, but I'm not going to be in the garage. Yeah, it's the lock to the garage. Oh. Look, this is the key. I'm throwing it away. Nobody put me in the garage. Kumi will be his own man. Now, the thing I said before, and let me say this again. From the past interview that I've seen of Dr. Baka, he's, he's not coming across as being somebody who will be uh, uniting people. That will play well for Kumi, to be honest with you. So what do you say? Why are you in so many places? Because okay, I'm saying to you, we want to win the election. election. Okay, we the want to, the election to win first. Are you looking for somebody who's going to unite No, the no. Kumi alone, Kumi alone cannot win the election. That's the point I'm making. If, I don't care who Kumi picks as second. As long as Dr. As long Dr. Baka is not second, United Party will do everything possible. To, to, to bring division among us. And once that divisive idea gets among us, then Dr. Weir is going for another six years. There is no question asked. With but that said, 
and we got them to the position where we want them. So all of these people that come, I all woke up, uh, uh, not okay. and what have you. These people, for me, from my own perspective, they are not doing us a favor. They okay. are throwing us a favor. Okay, let me okay. bring in our okay. man, Mason. He's been listening. Let's keep it succinct. I want to go back to general. There are a few questions yet I really want to talk uh, touch on here. And this is my apprehension all along. The government, the collaboration, there is no concise message. And I will say that and I will come to my position. But Mason just joining the uh, conversation yet. Uh, Mason, go ahead quickly here to, uh, from what you've been listening to. Make it succinct. And I will get to our uh, widow and we'll go back to the general data uh, to see so we can point some questions, uh, questions here. Uh, Mason, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Mr. So thank you for the... Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, do you have a sign? Yeah, I got some. This is what it's talking about. No, I, I'm asking whether you have a political side. You have a pick. No, I mean, a political side for me is I'm not a part. Of, I'm not a partisan of any party. There you go. I'm a realist. I like to look at things objectively. Uh huh. The problem I got with CPP and their fight over Joseph Barker and Alexander Cummings is that they're making this fight not like a race within the party but a race for the presidency. And not, a, not all the guys have been selected for the presidency. They should be making their, 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 their plea for becoming the standard bearer of the P CPP. And each one of them need to sell themselves to the CPP partisan. But they are not doing that. They're trying to sell themselves to the, to the country first. And now, you can't go to the country where you have not won your, prim your primary. Now, well, they, are, they are turning the world upside down. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. They're putting the cart before the horse and the Italians say, let's move forward. If they start to fight over the presidency, they will destroy their unity. Because what happened? Let's say that Joseph Baca saying he is the only man that can win George Weah. Look, brother, we not very, so he been very definitive. I am so, 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 so. This is this is a you degrading. The CPP, when you make that statement, tell the people, look, I can defeat Alexander Cummings. I will be the best standard bearer. I can, I am a better standard bearer than Alexander Cummings. I, I can bring unity to our party, to our collaboration, rather than I unite your collaboration first. You are not uniting the collaboration, you're fighting and breaking the fabric. And people who support these guys are not redirecting the, 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 the narrative. Oh. Okay. So, so, so uh, Mr. Soul, mm -hmm. just one minute. Mason's is saying something very. I'm, I'm shocked at Mason. Mason, okay. did you call the national anti there to support Boaga? No, I called to commend him <laughs> for his service. Supporting and commending are two different things. I listen to that, and that's what I asked. That <laughs> that's what <laughs> so I so asked. Do you have a political side? Now, you guys, the <laughs> contributor, <laughs> analysts, uh, pundit. You're making sense, so you're making no, 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 Mr. Mr. So, okay, quickly, yeah, let's start out there. What was the purpose of that? Commenting of what I commended him for his services to the Liberian government to the Liberian people <laughs> or his 40 uh, years of services. I commended him for it. I said, so, Thank you, because there were things that there were things the old man said that I have never heard before of things that he has done. So, that it, even people who praise him never said it. So, so in he said, reality, in reality, and this is the guy we are uh, we assume he's gonna contest. So you giving him a push, right? No, I will not give him a push, I will acknowledge him his work. Okay. You see, Mr. So I myself look by George, you can catch me on that one. I will and no, when not Mr. Kumis, you. We got, we, when we got, Mr. got in studio uh, and he's okay, let me that let me that topic there. I, I'm not gonna waste my time on it. We guy is laughing here. Widow is a strong heart, die has edition here. So it looks like you're preparing dinner here for him. Free dinner here, free meal, meal some wheel. I get a bite here at Widow, and now we'll go to the general. Yeah, look, uh, it, it's, it's, it's such a you know a pleasant sight for me to see that there is a disagreement, you know, in a in a um, opposition. And uh, but I just want to stress this point. And and the general came on hard when he came to uh, the investigative report that I requested from him. Um, um, from Nimba. But here's what I want to say to this. We all know, and look, we have to be sincere to ourselves and our country and our conscience. But here's what I'm going to say. When Yeka Koloba and Mr. Cummins 
were in Grand Jeter County. There was a commotion there. And that commotion led to a lot of, of violence. And the security apparatus came in, there was tear gas thrown, people went, people got injured, and every, the crowd was dispersed. They came to Monrovia. They went to investigate, called them to make their statements. They refused. Mr. Komen refused. Mr. Yeke Koluba refused as well. Okay. We watched the video in Nima County. When we watched the video, we saw in the video that were police at even the gate in the fence where the, the primary was taking place. These people were apprehended. That's why the, 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 the violence did not escalate to, 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 to some proportion. The security were there and they took part into quieting down the situation. But what happened is that <clears throat> these people refused to bring forth those in their party who were responsible for these acts. And the, the police cannot go into your party room to tell you exactly who else to bring out. You have to point out people to be investigated. But nobody came out with that report. That's why I was asking him, why didn't they do their own investigation? And you want to say uh, the government should do the investigation. How would the government do the investigation when you are not cooperating with the government to do the investigation? Because you always think that the government is against you. We know you it's sounding a little bit ridiculous here, but let me go to uh 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 uh, uh general here because he's gonna tear into pieces. I, I don't want to do his better work here because oh, you, you, you have given him uh, enough ammunition to I don't think so though. Uh, yeah, because they don't have a investigating power. You, know. you, are, you are in charge of state security. <laughs> so what I'm gonna be doing is just some sort of finding at the end of the day who takes the decision is the government to say this is the door. The no, these president. are the same people who are gonna say the government is cracking down on people, the government is wish hunting people. If they come to you, <laughs> the that, government cannot force, force you to give a statement. They cannot force you to give a statement. Mr. Mr. Can you respond to that, please? Yes, Mr. So, please. I wish you would give me more time because I think I'm your guest on the show. Yeah, yeah. You need to cover a lot of stuff because I see okay. your contributors are more, they're doing more than contributing. But let me answer my friend. Only in Liberia, I see when crime is taking place, the government want you, even if they arrest the person, the government want you to come and give information. Listen. Of course. When the no, wait, 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 there should be witnesses in before you can be convicted. Listen, in a decent government, if someone attacks me right now, the state can still prosecute you whether I want to pursue charges or whatsoever. The state can come and say, listen, is this versus this. I, they will still take action. It's up to me to pursue it. It's up to me. You say police were on the scene. They arrested people. Then you turn around and say the party refused to present the people and you just said the police arrested the people. Life was involved. People with knives. They gone beyond. The police arrest you. They charge you until somebody can drop that charges. They will come up for charge because you had weapons with you. They will come up for charge. The one that happened in Grand Jeter, I told you, there was no security. They were, they were on a hostage in a hotel. Everybody said, you do not come outside. The police went there. Other people, we saw that video live. You as a police, you got police in Grand Jeter. They were supposed to take up that case and send the information. But the man took his time. He came to Monrovia. Then you invited him to the police station. To go and give you a report, he tell you no. If that may, I won't do the same thing. I will tell you no. You know what I'm saying? It makes no sense. The government is responsible for security, law, and order. It's not you and myself. We can fight in the street. I can stop you. If the government don't prosecute me, they, even the judiciary will not go after me. The legislature will not go after me. It's an executive responsibility. What are the political party? Law and order is in the hands of the executive. Mr. So, can I, I respond to that, please? No. Uh, yeah, can yeah, you, you just know. quickly. It will be, 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 be very brief. It will be very brief. It will be very brief. Yeah, tell us a second. Look, when we, said, when we said the government is responsible for law and order, you are right. That's why they are there to maintain order. That's why they, even though there was some violence, it was stopped. That's why the law and the order. So order was restored. That's what it is. However, when it comes to prosecuting people, there might be there will be witnesses. There will be statements from key 
a uh, participant of that conflict. Who, that's we are, who we have to facilitate bringing the witnesses forward? If a witness <laughs> refuses to come forward, what will you do? But then I'm there was saying, no case. Who, who, then no case. Of, the government, no case. of course, but they are very resistant to the okay. law enforcement. In the okay. country, let's, and that's why these issues are happening. Yeah. They, the don't give, they don't give their I side of the story. Can, can and then you expect the government not. to do something. No, the okay. government can cannot. Talk. Okay, you okay. okay. cannot force anybody forward. to give a statement. Day. Okay, let's move forward. The general, let me ask this question here. Uh, you're talking to you like uh, Alexander Cummings. You still don't, uh, your hands still in that cookie jars, thinking which one to pick. They are still uncertain today. Uh, would there come a time that you will come publicly to say, this is the guy that I'm carrying, and this is the message I want to do. Are you waiting for the CPP uh, to have that political settlement as to who's going to be their leader? Why will you want to wait, I uh, suppose, in making an educated guess? If you like this person here, if you admire this person here, why not come up from to articulate the actual vision, so the message of this person? What are you waiting for? Well, I have started that already, and if you want me, I can go public again on your show and tell you that I have endorsed Mr. Cummings to be the standard bearer of the CPP, and I believe he will be a better, he's a better, better candidate. And I can give you examples why I think he will be a better candidate if he's leading the CPP. Is he likable? Well, as far as concerned, yes, he's likable. Look, you let me say this. You seem not we to be in, sure. You seem to be sure. Yes. With the, not, no, not I am sure that. because what you see. It don't take no, it don't take librarians nothing to know you. What we missing here, we missing something. Not everybody come on the Facebook. Can he just, take down George Weir and the CDC led government? And please. I will tell you any day, any time, Mr. Cummings. In fact, the diff the, the, the only thing George Weir and Mr. And Mr. Cummings has in common, they were created by God. That's the only thing they have in common. Leadership wise, no, two and different styles. Well. No, well, they are Liberians. I said, I don't want to, oh, I'm not okay, downplaying okay. him. They're all <laughs> Liberians. That is why they qualify to run for president. George mm -hmm. Weah has a style of doing things. Mr. Cummings has a style of doing things. Mr. Cummings putting out there what he's going to do. So I don't even like for CDM to tell me, but what do you think Mr. Cummings will do when even the Mr. President, we are never told you what he was going to do and you voted for him. So don't ask me the question, what do you, you think you he would do? You have to pay back? So if they no, didn't no. do it... Uh, no. Okay. When you insisting, like, if he continued to explain, and you still saying, no, 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 no. You're not explaining yourself. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. I'm talking to independent. Let me say my message goes to independent people who have not joined. the new voters. Because once... The last election were one million three hundred that registered. Now today we want was one point three. Then we went one point six. Today we two million four hundred. So I know there are a lot of people who registered. And in Liberia, we got a lot of people who are not member of political parties. They are they just sitting in the pen. They can go anywhere. They got the crooks. They got the one because they are not. The, the problem here, General. These people are not sure. These politicians. They're not sure. They, they are they are not putting anything tangible here. Then let me go to my guys here for 30 seconds. I'm not sure whether you answer my question. Can Alexander Cummings take down George Weir? Any day, anytime, over 100%, Mr. Cummings can defeat George Weir on the CPP ticket. Any day. And okay. I want to say this. Even if the CPP, I said it before, if they are united today, they can even put a dog on the team. They will defeat the CC. Take okay. from my word today, and Mr. So, this is not my first time coming on your show to mm -hmm. explain to you certain things. You remember the first election that was that Darius Dillon defeated uh, 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 CDC. I told you, I said, you said, oh, President, we will come out and take responsibility of the defeat. I said, President, we have never, he will blame it onto other people, and then. After that election, when it came to the 2011, 20, 20, and 2008 election, they put their supporters at the SKD. They said they have captured Monsanto. I came on, I said, I will bet my life. There is no way you can defeat. And what happened? Out of that election, they had over 300, almost 400,000 people, almost voted because they had right. some invalid votes. They had right, 35 percent So I'm telling right. you now, I'm looking at numbers too. All right, uh, let's see here. I don't know what I had. I'm my first time hearing Ty 
uh, from people get a postal and all of that, posters. But let me go do a quick uh, 30 seconds, uh, half a minute or whatever it is uh, to the round. People, well, let me start from Saxton Liberal, uh, the Liberal Progressive. He seems not to be happy now because Kishen, the general, is pushing the line of Alexander Cummings, and the Liberal is on the other side. Say, well, Boyka has been there for all of these years. He is the right guy. But uh, so uh, the Liberal, the, gen the general is saying now, uh, Alexander Cummings of the ANC, he is the one that has the political capacity to take down the country giant. I disagree, strongly disagree. Uh, uh, Cummings will not uh, defeat uh, Dr. Weir. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. What I do know is this. If uh, Cummings and his people, if they're truly, truly seeking state power, uh, you know, Liberians are not your Liberians of yesterday. These young people are sophisticated nowadays. Of course, we blame them from time to time to say, oh, they're just after money and here, yeah, what have you. But Mr. So, if Cumming was to go in by himself or even as, as head of the CO, COP or CPP and does not have the support, strong support of Unity Party and other, polit on, uh, and other collaborating political party, then I think they're going to have serious problems. Now, um, let me say this again. I am not here to uh, 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 to say uh, 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 Dr. Baka is the best man. I'm not pushing that line. I am being pragmatic because this is election. I want to win, and we must strategize correctly. I want to win. And so my strategy, in order for us to defeat Dr. Weir and CDC resoundingly and effectively, will be through. It has to go through one person. And I think we will understand in, 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 in construction, you have what they call CMP, a critical path. And in my situation, the way I am viewing this whole blocks of whatever you have to have, the critical path of defeating Dr. Weir and CDC is Dr. Bakai. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. I'm not going to go to total time to do some drum beating here. Let me go to I uh, missing here. Missing. Uh, Mr. So, it's so ironic to hear my two brothers arguing and pointing to Boyka and Alexander as though these people are going to run individually. These people are running on CPP ticket. Now, when Samson Toll said that and the general said that, it tells me that anyone wins if Boyka becomes uh, uh, the standard bearer for CPP, Cummings is not going to support him. If Cummings become Unity party not going to support. That means what you're saying here, gentlemen, is that there is no unity in your CPP, which means you are already falling where apart. Do you, where do you stand? I stand on the fact that CPP cohesively can win George. We are any day with anybody. Uh, and other people. Okay, good. That's your <laughs> opinions, your views. Uh, we accept that. Widow, in the middle, you seem to be having a far time here because uh, they are tussling among themselves. Uh, who do who you think the CDC wants to face? Look, the CDC is not fixated on anyone. Uh, we know that whoever comes forward will be defeated. So uh, it's <clears> nothing <throat> that we're worried about. All we are worried about is the security of the nation and make sure that uh, there is peace and, and tranquility. So look, but here's what I want to say. Uh, we can all sit here and argue all we want. I know that um, it comes 2023, uh, the CDC is going to win. What we are not sure of is whether it will not go to round two. But um, uh, 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 we are we are very sure that CDC is going to win. And okay. to to the minute listener, I just want to say this one shortly before I leave. Uh, before you can move to the next person, is that look, uh, we have to be fair to Liberia, fair to ourselves. When the police arrest someone, take them to the police station. Even if they're caught in red handed, mm -hmm. they can only keep them for forty eight hours, and we'll let them go if there's no complaint that comes forward. So okay. we have to have these things in place. Without that, we are going nowhere. Thank you. Okay. So, Pa George. Yes. Uh, the liberal say uh, he doesn't agree with what the general say. Missing the guy who calls from the United States and called <laughs> to Max to say, I call to man you, to thank you, to appreciate you, to admire you. But yet, he's not admitting the fact those words 
the connotation, the meaning of this word is to help to facilitate this mental presidency. He's unable now to tell us, so this guy, this is Joseph Boyka and Kerry. Mm -hmm. What the heck is going on? Well, where are you? Who can take down George Weir? Look, anybody from the opposition can take down George Weir. Communists, communist, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me be very specific. Communists or Boyka can take down George Weir. And let me say this, Mr. So, except the economy is stupid. That's the only way George Weir will be elected. Except the economy is stupid. That's the only way George Weir will be elected. Send this book into power. Go to four years. They cannot show you any tangible job that we have created to improve the life of poor lives. And this sedition go around, they fanatic go around, oh, we'll win the election. Yeah, of course, normally that, that's political party. Even they can see the right in the world, they will say they, they will win the election. But except the economy is stupid. That's when George will win this election. The way things are now, let me see 2024, so, 20, uh, whatever to come and George will win that election. Then that's it. Second, let me say this. The law and order, we talk about policing, law enforcement. Now there are so many tools to the disposal of police. Video came out. What happened at the Capitol in, in America? They're not calling lawmaker. As the video came out, they are using to arrest people. They didn't call. They didn't call the speaker to say, "Can't tell what happened." They didn't call the sign to counter. No, the video okay. came out. That's why they are using to arrest people. So in Liberia, let me say this: If there's violence anywhere, right now, video cameras are there. They can take picture from that and pursue. The lead perpetrator, but we don't let me tell you, your government is one of those that support uh, criminality. In, in okay, no, let, let's, we're not going to dwell on time. We no, are, I, I don't want to make that. No, because uh, he may, no, oh. I just seen that in my quote because he may mention that the government is doing everything. Tila Yuri, Banafe, no investigation up to this time. Okay. Okay. So, did she uh, come forward to give evidence? Did she come forward? She did go to the police. Okay, uh, let's leave it there. Yeah, so, anybody will let, let him go. But you guys oh. don't know these things. Okay. I don't blame uh, you. We're going to come back to it. Uh, the general. Yeah, and uh, before I go, let me just, before I start, let me just say this to Wida. I served a little bit in the Liberal National Police. I was with the Labor Ministry too, as Inspector General. When you, if you take me to the police, to arrest me and they arrest me through you they keep me 72 hours if you don't come there they release me if the police arrest you for killing for stabbing for stealing do you think the police arrest you after 72 hours no the responsibility is to prosecute you whether you like it or not but Liberia I said, let's just let it go, my brother. I don't want us. They, they, I don't need. If I take you to the police station, if I just say, oh, this man came and stole my place and whatsoever, and the police come, I point finger, they arrest you, they carry you. I'm supposed to, they will ask me, do you, in fact, just an example today, someone stole my dollar press. The police asked me, how much was that? $25. I'm looking at the press. Do you want to take uh, five charges? A waste of time. $25. My daughter, my little 16 year old daughter said, that is at too much time. I got my press. Let's go. And we came. I want to say, rushing to come here. So the police asked me, Do you want to file charges? Now, nah, but you know, the police told me, They look at the camera. They say, Okay, no problem. But we're going to arrest him. So this is our number. You'll be here to us. If you do want to file charges, no problem. But we're going to arrest him. And then it's because, between uh, him yeah, because a crime. was a crime that's committed. It. That was a crime. Okay. Oh, okay, okay now let's go. Let's go. Why, why let's are you go. in the ask you? What are you want to do? Fire charges? No, if because I they don't can go ahead, they can only no. go ahead when you want to fire charges. No, but he's still going to arrest him because guess what? He got to get a, then they release him after 72 hours, right? No, 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 then no, 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 Compensation or something. If I want to okay. file charges, I can file charges for stress. Oh, no, no. But you, that, are you that, that, Don't you that, know that, that when they steal from you, because... you file charges on a lot of things? Okay, hello, let's... guys. Hello, hello. Let us leave I, it. I, Let I, leave I, it. Don't. We yeah, just to change the topic. Okay. Oh, we're going to be wrapping up here. Yeah, we're going to change the topic. But Mr. So, I want to tell my brother Benson over there. There is no way you go into. You got to CPP. CPP. 
there is no confusion within the CPP. I want you to go and read the agreement. Every party, every political leader within is there that agreement? party. Is it is finalized? So finalize what? The agreement is it finalized? Yes, they uh, they signed it. They signed it. In fact, there were some changes made, and it was signed. Now, every party runs on their own. It is your right to, to promote yourself for that chair for that standard direction. And we got two parties right now that are looking at it. Even if I'm supporting, if I'm making a case for Mr. Cummings, nobody making a case for Mr. Cummings. What well, Mr. Baga say I can defeat. Uh, 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 George Weir, he telling you make me the standard bearer to defeat George Weir. Cummings is not saying, he said make me the standard bearer. And yet and still we must compare. You see, attacking and comparing records is two different things. So I don't want you to pretend on this show. I, I listened to, in fact, I was going to bring up, because I listened to the entire interview. I heard what you asked Mr. Buaka, thank you for your service and whatsoever. Fine. It is your right. It is your right. The only problem I have for some people when they're attacking, attacking and giving false information. I'm not attacking. They're saying that there are two farm people. Any one of them can defeat George Weah. But the fact of the matter here is that they have two different ideas. And two, nobody run for vice president, Mr. Brown. Nobody run for vice president. You eat a competition. And this competition you're in is a tournament, a soccer tournament. Then you're telling me, I've not even played my first game. You say I should settle for second. I understand Bernard Yure, who is now the 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 the, the labor the the the, the union guy, have already settled for the last because he's not in the race anymore because he has given his support. That's good. That's his right. Like Mr. So said, and I made I made a post. He tried to protect his property because there is no way Mr. Buaka will look at him when Mr. Yure is prepared to spend some money. Now, nobody run for vice president, Mr. Mr. Buaka, if he's the standard bearer. And why he should take Cummings? It is his right to choose whoever. And I will tell you, Mr. Cummings should not go as a big because you got two old people on that ticket. Mr. Blacker will be about 80, Mr. Cummings will be about 68. Why are we wasting our time? Mr. Cummings it never said to the people that whoa, he whoa, must. Whoa, 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 whoa. You said you you also playing the tune now of Cummings. I'm not I'm playing it. Who? I'm playing it. No, oh, no, no. Listen. Is that, is, that, is that a discussion going within the corridor of the ANC? Don't settle no. down for two. No, listen, Mr. Mr. So, you see, never discourage yourself when you're into a race. Your mind and everything is on the first prize. Proportionally, proportionally. Yes, no, no, you got no. to be open as well. You have, you have, no, no, no. Everybody has a plan B. But I tell people, do not worry about plan B until you get stuck on the plan A. Now, if Mr. Cummings just come up from nowhere to then say, you know what, I'm out of the race. By the time you get out of the race, then you look for your plan B. But Mr. Cummings is still saying that I'm into this race. What so, message will Mr. Cummings be sending to his supporter? Hold on one second. Let me do a round table here in 30 seconds here. The liberal, I see you walking to want to break your neck here. You look like you are sick in the stomach now. This is my first time hearing that. That politician or someone without a contingency plan, no backup plan, they are waiting to get at the bank of the river to see whether there's a canoe there or there's a ferry there to cross the sea. This is what you have a backup right. plan. No, let me clear. There's a backup plan, but the backup plan, you can never expose your backup plan until you finish your race. If you cannot get, if you get to that river, and so you when, cannot make okay, it, so then you take you off your saying, plan B. What you are saying, okay, this is why your guy said he's not willing to settle down with for number two. Because he has not even tested, he has not played his first game oh, yet. So is, are you saying it's a political statement? It's a political statement. He has not, okay, let me get, then before you go to Mr. Brown, you, somebody said, you saw the argument between Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, and even the argument between Joe Biden and Barack. They went at each other. They went at each other was so dirty and Kamala Harris dropped off the race when she dropped off the race Liberian politician will never do that they will, they will never not speak they, they will, will not speak, speak to you That's the they will never speak to you again which is true but when she dropped off the race Joe Biden said well I think with himself he started looking around right there once you get off the race you pick up your plan B and your plan B 
He said, well, if I lock it, they call me. I think I will accept that thing. Like, like Joe Biden. When they call Joe Biden, he refused the first time. His mother, may also rest in peace. When he got the mom to him, he said, come here. The first black man who will be president asks you to go okay. as his VP. You say, no. Good. <laughs> All so right. the, the, uh, that, 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 that the documentary yes, group and yes, that sir, the great interview. Yeah. Settlement here. Let me take you back to Liberia here because the liberal is burning with pain. The liberal, Mr. So, uh, you, uh, you know, sometimes it's difficult uh, when we come to these positions to, to try to divorce ourselves with uh, all kinds of emotion, uh, it's difficult, however. This, this, and I'm, and I'm just going to be speculative right here. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not too sure if this is some statement that people should hold me by, but I'll just make it anyway. This is one of the reasons I suspect, and I will speculate here too as well. This is one of the reasons why Liberia is going nowhere. We have Liberian politicians who are not critical thinker. We have Liberian politicians who are not technocrats. We have Liberian politicians, all lawyers, seeking gravy. That's it. Uh, and I'm not saying the general here is, is one of those, but to make a statement in this public forum to say you should hire your plan B, and when the time comes, then you go for plan B. Me, as, as someone who has a mindset of trying to, if I'm given a problem, I have to do a calculation. And the calculation is going to be checked by other people. So it doesn't matter what, what method that I use, uh, but my calculation has to be correct. In order for me to support the weight that is giving me to support this being, whether it's being a, a, a uniform distribution or a, 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 a inclined distribution, whatever it is, however the way that I calculate this weight, people will check it. And it has to be factual. And I can't make, you can't get any number anywhere else. So if I hear politicians, and, 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 and the general is not alone, there are those who will come in and say, for example, the, the same uh, uh, Dr. Baca that I'm, that I'm talking about, when he was on Costa's show, uh, to say, I, the only person that can defeat, sounding like Donald Trump, I alone can do this where you have millions and millions of Liberians who are supposed to be supporting you, and you're going to clean eye in that very initial stage. That Mr. not- Can I ask you a question oh. while you're into this topic right now? Please, uh, just a quick, Mr. Mr. So, Mr. Brown, do you think that Unity Party can go on their own with Mr. Bwaka and win President Weir? No. They can be in the CPP, and why? Well, that's why I'm suggesting that's why I'm suggesting, first of all, the, the collaborating political party must find a critical path. And forget critical path. I'm not even going to go that way. So, they you should agree find, that, so you agree that whoever the CPP carries will win must be if they stick, if must they stick be together. Support. Yes, yes. Oh, but and now you tell me that is simple. If Baka is not that standard bearer, UP going to get out. No, not not necessarily. But, but that's how come you say that listen, anybody listen, can win? Anybody? Listen, no, anybody can win. However, however, we all let us be realistic here. We know Cummings and the position he has in Liberia. Cummings has been there has he has been uh, demonized all over the country. There is no question asked. Number one. Second thing is this. Kumi, in order for me, what I'm trying, my suggestion here is to quiet everything down. Let's go in there as unit one and let's defeat these people. Then we can discuss what we have to discuss. Now, how do we do that? My point is, number one, many Liberians, uh, 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 young Liberians will gravitate towards Dr. Bakai. Number one. No, Expect, okay, that. that's fine. That's fine. That's my opinion. Number two, Dr. Bakai, once he's a hair, people will say this old man going to help to resolve issues because he's been in it for long. If I were coming, I would go second to Bakai. Okay. Well. For what reason? For what reason? For what reason? Eh? 
Tell us on here, Ty. Let me give you the reason. Let me give you the reason. The reason why I'm suggesting this is this. Kumi then will use this six years position to establish himself as someone who has the ability to lead. Kumi has not been tested in Liberia. Many Liberians by Kumi don't trust Kumi. So in order for people to recognize that Kumi has the ability, you're not going to find Liberians going to read Kumi manifesto. They're not going to do that. Okay. So in order for Kumi to show himself, go second to Dr. Bakai, you're not going to be parked in the garage. Kumi is going to have to then demonstrate as a vice president, but at the same time demonstrating to the people of the Republic of Liberia that he's going to lead. Okay. Now, you so, be honest here. Hold on, hold on, Mr. So one minute. You yeah. be, one second. You be honest here. How much you think control Dr. Baka will be in when he become president? But then why are you making him president? If he oh, doesn't control. I'm making him president, making Kumi to come oh, on to compensate him. To have the same way you want to control. You tell me us to compensate him because yeah, he spent right? 12 years in government right, see, and we must compensate him. That's what you're trying to say. I Mr. So, no, I, Mr. Years, so, I know, Mr. So, Mr. So, I know exactly where your question is going. Don't I know you 20, because I, I don't want to break my own neck. Please, let's I move know, on. I know you're 27 years old, but you still you thinking like the old boys. Let okay. me say this to so, you today. Let me say this, Mr. Brown. I said it before. Mr. Bwaka, the people, agrees to carry Mr. Bwaka. If they believe they have the number, let them go to the, the, the primary. And whoever wins, we will support them. But what I'm trying to tell you, when I hear people say Mr. Cummings is qualified, Mr. Cummings is there, Mr. Cummings went to this place and went to that place, but follow Mr. Bwaka to do what? To learn what? You yourself, any educated man or smart man who work and understand is you can understand government even if mr Cummings is president that doesn't mean that mr Cummings has the the, the, the market the, the magic touch to change it around tomorrow it's so teamwork but what i'm trying to tell you you look at people past and see if they can make it they can they can, they can make the future better so when i look at mr Bwaka and tell you the 12 years he spent he's a good man he served his country a lot mr Cummings, who work in a white man war, the same system that is, that is in America and in Europe or whatsoever is the same system in Liberia because we're not using the system. That is why we think the system is not working. But Mr. Boyka cannot convince me. People who are not doing this because it's like dress right, dress. Oh, that's my time. It's nothing like that's my time in, in government, and we continue to do the same thing. So we continue okay. to do the same thing. I believe Let's... that Mr. Cummings, and let me say this, Mr. So. I will give you one example. We're missing a point. Do you know the guy called Daniel Cassell? Daniel Cassell, yeah. yeah. Good. Dr. Cassell? Dr. Yeah. Cassell, who, who, got, who organized the Liberation Party? Mm -hmm. by, and the chairman is what is needed. Wilmot Pay. Wilmot Pay is a smart uh, guy. Uh, for Unity Party. Wilmot Pay is a smart guy. Wilmot Pay got a lot of re 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 UP guy over. And I will tell you today, I was listening to some of them. They had a program at the Harvest Church there. They are saying their view is that if they can care, if the CPP can carry Boaca, they got a very good case to the to the Liberian people. One, Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Cassell, he's the change, he's the change candidate. They will put the CPP and the youth and the, and the CDC together. And say, well, let Mr. Boaka there who served the time. Let us, Mr. Josh, we are there who just built all this community. But we got Mr. Uh, Kiasa on this side, who's a new guy, and that guy prepared to spend at least 10 million. He don't care. Yeah, he prepared Mr. to pay. spend 10 million. Here is I'm the I'm telling you, and he this prepared is right now. Million, but he's no. unwilling to even hold these people accountable. Oh, no, no. Listen, he holds them accountable at the same time, the same way we're taking advantage of the Liberians in that place. Today, as I speak to you, that party has a bus running around that cheaper than the MTA. That you can take a bus from Morocco to Nimba County and okay. pay two hundred and fifty dollars. The Liberian people don't underestimate them. They look yeah, at I little things. That's, that's, that's so, a sort of you start goal of you, this politician. No, no, no. no he's starting his process. He's starting his process very early. It's okay. similar, Mr. Mr. Cummings, to start his process. Let me, let so let, let us be very careful. 
it is possible that anybody can win. All the right. election is not an easy election. But if okay, the we got 10 minutes, not we got 10 careful, minutes to go here. No problem. We got 10 minutes to go. Let me pick up the call here and I will go back to the last point. 701 number 46458. Uh, Good evening, caller. Yes, Mr. So, thank you for taking my call. Mm -hmm. This is Teddy Ted Lion, you're going to call five on the quarter. Ted Lion, who you had a two of here this evening? Go ahead. Well, um, Mr. So, I told you a few few weeks ago or a month ago, I told you that the cartel has born a new baby, which is this Daniel uh, Cassell. I told you that Mr. Walker, uh, uh, Mr. Cummings, None of those people are wanted to, 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 to lead Liberia. They, they all think there. Mr. Walker is think there. Mr. Cummings, he can, he can never show, he cannot show no tangible. He was working with Coca Cola. He did nothing for Liberians. He never, you know what I'm saying, came around Liberians or is go to Liberia to do anything like what just we are there. Okay. Uh, they, are, they, they, are, they are only playing tricks. At the end of it, 20 seconds. Go, go ahead quickly. I'm out of time here already. Yeah, they try to bring this a cassette in to run as a president or vice president. One of the homies of brother, one of them, they drop. Okay, you know, so thank you so that's much. What, that's the trick the UPP party is doing. And Mr. Kasse, he came, he came on a way of trick. So okay. the librarians, the young people, were not listening to that. Okay, thank you, my Children, man. I gotta go. Let me. All right, thank you so much. Uh, uh, unfortunately, the conversation went way well, yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to get to the uh, grand finale here. And let me just ask these questions. Let us uh, make the answers as succinct as possibly we can. Who is speaking for the opposition? Who is speaking for the collaboration? And that question to also will be flipped around to go to Ty, Mr. Widow. Who is speaking? And the reason I'm asking here, Ty, the general, there are multiple voices. Uh, and of course, uh, people they have the right to speak. But I'm wondering here, I'm I yet to see a strategic, robust plan. And we're focusing on the opposition because yesterday we didn't do that to the CDC. And uh, that's, why, that's why it's happening today. But the opposition, they are not doing enough. I'm not seeing any strategic plan being put up. And when you ask them, okay, we're still in the collaboration. How long are you going to be in this collaboration? What are the issues? that you are running on? How is your information machinery is working? When you have, when I listen to Kishan, I get a different tone. When I listen to Yasini and I listen to uh, Emery and other people, I get a different tone. When I go to CDC, all I listen to Mr. Gilmore, I listen to Prince Shari, they are different, different messages. I don't see a refined a restructured message of this political institution that they are supporting to wage and effective, to be persuasive. When you listen to the other people, they say tiny, tiny sedition. You listen to the other people, they group, they pour their roles, they are this. Look, give me a break. Is that how you're going to get voters on your side? I yet to see people, even the, CD, the CPP, I yet to see how they can make the economy grow. I don't, I'm not seeing it, but they are waiting for us to say when they get there, then they will tell us. I'm looking for somebody who will downsize the government. Who will begin to tell me this is how I'm going to do with these ministry to condense them, to cut down the expenditure, to cut down to, uh, some of the wasteful spending? They are not talking about that. Daniel Kassel now, who is the Liberation Party, he has also created a sour sour group like the CDC, like the CPP Collaboration Party, Red Barrel, Green Barrel, Blue Barrel. And believe me, because the soldier for Koji. So any of these people, then they have become a solidarity brigade. At the end of the day, their thank you will be to be incorporated in the government. What is the plan for these people? What is the plan? What are they, what are they bringing? I, I don't understand. I'm not still getting the message. Maybe I'm going over the top here, the General. Can you help me? Is there okay. any concise message as to how they're going to make the government work? Or are they waiting when we put them on a flow tool, then they tell us and say, oh, we didn't know. We thought this is how government works. Mr. So, and uh, I will tell you right now, everybody speak for themselves. But one thing, there is no platform. CPP is not a, they're not like a CDC where they got correlation. CDC is made up of C Congress for Democratic Change, the NPP and the LPP. Let me one straight. Three political parties, then we pray Johnson, who is like an associate member with them. 
So it's not just Congress for democratic change. They went together in the form of coalition. Okay. They had a came up with one platform in the CPP just collaborating party. Today, if Waika is the standard, the agreement is CDC and LPD uh, uh, and unit and uh, Liberty Party and uh, LP will not future for candidates. So unity party uh, uh, platform, maybe they will go and add a little bit and say let's put this and this. Almost like when you get to the convention where they try to change the platform. Now, if ANC, that is why when you listen to Mr. Cummings, it's just that interview sometimes I don't go for 30 minutes and watch. So I hope you will have the opportunity to can you, uh, Mr. Let me ask Mr. you. Mr. I've told, yeah, I, I'm well, uh, maybe you can help to extend. Because and I will push that. I will push that. People, you're shooting these people here. No, no, no. Mr. 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 Oh, so. they, they are going to platform where they think they're going to get a free path. When I went yeah. to Liberia two years ago, I walked to CDC. I walked, I went to Darius Dillon. Dillon, who was a senator now, I've called him multiple times because why they want to go on onto maybe Costa or where they think they're going to feed the bait. Yeah. All right. And that is but very, very bad. I, I want, want you to, to hold me, me, hold me now. Okay. I'm not saying that I have that connection that I said tomorrow it's going to be, but I'm going to push my strength. And tell you that you should have that interview. We send out of... communication. They want us to renew it. No, no, no. Can... Wait first. When we finish, I will let you know. And I show, I see, I see other people watching that when you, were, if you want to deal with Mr. Thomas on the economy, that's it. When you listen to all the interviews, he answered the question. Even the asking, how will you, how will you do this? How will... he's a financial officer? He's a financial officer. That's his job. CFO. That is what his career is all about. Okay. He tells you what you can spend two hours explaining. Mr. Cummings do not run for interview. He try his best to go through other media's in like bureau. But let me tell you this trick. Mr. Cummings, so we can stay on the social media from now to judgment day. Mr. Cummings knows that hard work pays. He going to radio station in Grand Bass, to radio station in Nima County, and selling his message. Now in the CPP. Yombly Kanga supposed to speak for the CP. When they come together, they speak. But everybody right now giving their platform. Why I should be the best person to go ahead and, 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 and lead the CP. But let me just touch on Mr. Ted Lyon. Mr. Ted Lyon, you know, it, it's sad when I hear Liberians. That is why good Liberians don't want to go home. What did Mr. Cummings did when he was with Coca-Cola? He never helped Liberians. Mr. Ted Lyon, please, I want you to go and read. Mr. Cummings, is that a man of power on Coca-Cola? Why the Americans could not get pissed off with Coca-Cola and say, why you made a black man, a Liberian man, why you gave him the CFA position? But one thing Mr. Cummings organized in Liberia, in fact, there were other Liberians who worked with Coca-Cola worldwide and was promoted. It's not on Mr. Cummings. Mr. Cummings, I don't want to push them. But on their merit, they were they were put up there. And two, they got the uh, uh, Coca-Cola organizer foundation where they were going after is uh, 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 It was only for their members and like benefited from it. Where if your members have AIDS, Coca-Cola will make sure to take care of you and do other stuff. Oh, so there are a oh. lot of stuff. Lot of stuff, Mr. Cummings. But Mr. Cummings don't have to go and take one librarian and put him into Coca Cola. Then I have our own Coca Cola. Then I have our own. You know, I'm not a okay. I'm so not let a us stop this nonsense about people doing what you did. You are Coca Cola man. What you did? No, there were other librarians who climbed up. Mr. Cummings never brought them. They applied, and Mr. Cummings right. saw that he named some of them that they were this, 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 this. The same way Mr. Cummings apply on his own, and they started. Then later on, they sent him to Nigeria, and when he performed his performance in Nigeria, they make him uh, 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 Africa, okay. then they brought him back. So please, let right. us stop okay. this thing. Okay, well, time has got up. We're going to have this conversation. But on a serious note, mm -hmm. I hope, I, I hope uh, you will push that line. And uh, uh, we want to leave this uh, open here. So we want to talk to everybody. Uh, you know, I think it's important, and that's where the uh, communication aspect I don't know whether they have a communication team. They have multiple people speaking for them. The yeah. same way with the CDC. So you don't even know the chain of command, who to go to, where to go. But it's, again, it's at their own will and pleasure to, to do that. But I think uh, they must give all Liberians 
uh, the ability to hear from mentor guys who're going to be living it here this so can i can i just say something quickly before we before you can go past okay go ahead let's see Let, let's see look, go on your look, screen, right yeah, I, yeah. Thank you, and I understand the sentiments, and uh, I know that a lot of people think that uh, our the government's uh, information arm is not that strong, and it can be reflected in our national budget. There's no money going to information ministry because uh, the president had a strategic plan. He said he wanted to make Liberia yeah. into multicolor. Yeah, he said, he said he wanted to develop the country, so he wasn't he wasn't focusing on a PR and all Mr. these things. He was focusing on tangible things that people could Don't see. Do that. Don't no, do can that. I can I finish? You are breaking me. You didn't stop, Mister. You didn't stop the general. You are stopping me. No, it, it does not mean that. I'm I'm guess, I'm you. Guess, the man. reason I'm stopping you, you are speaking for the country that is under the law, and for you to tell me that the government is not focusing on its message to the outside world, that's bizarre. No, no, no. It's not bizarre. It's not bizarre. No, no. no let no, let no, look at you in the context. That that look into context. That look at the context of this thing. What I'm saying. I am saying. It doesn't mean that we don't have information ministry or information minister. We do have them. However, even the information minister came out and told us the other day that, look, the opposition are controlling the narrative. You know why he said that? Because we don't have the, 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 the money. Even in our national budget, it's not there to it's support our matter. reports. Let me just tell you, it's not, a, it's not a matter of money. They are not Mr. willing to get help, and they are just unable to to Mr. focus on their message that's the same problem that is an argument for another day but however yeah, let me let me tell you uh, something uh, ellie Jody Sally was the president she was spending millions of dollars on pr outside you think how oh, she got no, it that is correct that you I guys are stopping correct. me i cannot even say a word you are stopping no, me no no we you are interrupting me Mr. So, Mr. Three so, i will i will make a contribution of 50 dollars to please for that software I know you pay every month, but I will make a contribution of fifty dollars. Let me give you something, and please let me come in because I know you try to attack. Him. I don't want you to attack him on that. Let him give. Let me learn. I beg you. Yes, please. And after that, just send me the cash, the, the zeal. Let me Myself make a contribution well. to this area to. <laughs> 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 okay. so, so, okay. Let me let me let me go ahead. Thank you and thank you, uh, General, for allowing me to go ahead. Look, we are please not finish that statement in that line. It's not good for CDC. That statement is no, not no, 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 the man yeah, I want to be honest with you. Yeah, the I don't, I don't, we don't need to lie to you to get the your vote. No, we want right to now, be please. very factual. So let me just say what, what I want to yeah, say. Go, go ahead, the information ministry came up or the minister came up and said, look, the, 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 the opposition are controlling the narrative. It's because it's not because we don't want to do the job but it's because our hands are tied. We don't have the, the, the financial power to do what they are doing. So let me tell you something. Now, because of all this propaganda that the, the, the opposition are, are putting out, the government were able to go and hire a lobbyist. You know how much we are paying? That money could have been used for some development in Liberia, but now we are giving it to America, to somebody sitting in America to do propaganda for us because our own citizens are going to, 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 to how they call it, to the, to, 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 the, uh, to the American government, telling them things that are not even true. They are telling them to put sanctions on us for what we don't even know. You see it? So now we have to pay money that we're supposed to use in the country to do something, pay to some lobby to go and tell the person, no, the thing uh, uh, Mr. To say yeah, is a lie. The thing uh, uh, General say yeah, is a lie. We are paying money for somebody else to talk to talk to those people for us. That money should have been used in our country to build another house for another person who does not have a house in Liberia. But we are taking that money and sending it to America. And that's what we need to know as Liberians. The first thing we need to know is that our own is our own. America will, America will never go to Russia and say our president is bad, he's doing this thing, doing this thing. You, they will not do it. Liberians, the only time a Liberian man will trust you when you get connection in America. And that's, that, that's, that's a bad, that is very bad for us. And we need to change as Liberians. What we do continuously, it destroys our fabrics. It, 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 it disempower our, even our leaders that we put into power. When we, okay. when we dispower, then America come and then things go peer shape. Americans don't run in the street. They won't be crossing the, to, to Africa coast to run away. You and I will be doing that. So why can we put our own together and help our country instead of uh, uh, going to, 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 to uh, to, 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 to the uh, American government telling them to put sanctions on Liberia only because we are not in power. That is wrong. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, Ty, all views and opinions are all we express here. Ty, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. I deliver uh, your last one minute. And then... Uh... 
I too will give up fifty dollars if I can get at least five minutes of your time. Well, so are you making it to do? <laughs> oh my goodness! We got a liberal. No, you're going to the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a strategic. That's a strategic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I would know, Mr. Zo. On a very serious note, I want to thank all of you, uh, General, uh, 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 my uh, uh uh, Mr. Weeder, we want to thank all of you, Mr. George. Of course, when you came in, Mr. George, you didn't say hi to me, uh, but that's okay. Yeah, so that's true. And then that's true. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't speak to me, but that's he okay. didn't recognize you at all. Okay, exactly. Look, look at it. Look at my picture in the background. You see, Mr. So was able to manipulate my picture and make it so small that as though I don't, I, I don't even exist. But however, the liberal voice is here, Mr. So. You cannot sanction me. I don't know how many times I'm going to tell you guys this, but anyway. Look, let's let's look at this. It's a long way to go. It uh, 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 what we're doing here. I think what 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 the good 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 general is doing, and also what I'm trying to say here. Of course, these people. Uh, I'm not speaking for the COP. You know, I'm not speaking for any political party. The person in charge of of the COP or CPP. Let's put it that way. It's my political leader, Madam Lawrence. Is in charge, Mr. So. If you want to know about CPP, contact the political leader who is the chairman of the. Of, but this is what we do in Liberia. We have look at Liberia. Look at our society. When it comes to women, we don't even recognize them. You heard the general saying here, uh, Mr. Madam Yumbly, supposed supposed to be she wasn't. She is the seat, the chairman, and the spokesperson for this collaborating political party. Mr. So, I don't want to take any more of your time because I'm not paying you a dime. Uh, I'm not giving you 50 cents. I'm not, <laughs> so I'm not I'm, I, I'm, you give me one minute, my one minute time. Also, Mr. 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 So, thank you very much uh, for your conservative idea. Again, I think the people, the audience are listening and they know the liberal is going nowhere, but he's here to be the counterweight. Thank you very much and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay, I, uh, I, uh, Mason, go ahead. Uh, thank you, Mr. So, for the invite. Uh, thanks, gentlemen, for the delivery. I mean, the deliberation. It's nice to come out and have this exchange of view and see where we can take our country. Our country needs us to be frank and sincere, not because of who we support, but because of what education we can give them to make the proper decision. And with that being said, I must applaud each and every person for explaining their opinions and their suggestion. I don't speak for no political party. I have no foot in any political party. I only can vote probably for Liberia. And that's the only thing I'm interested in. But I want us to be able to present leaders that will have the requisite mind to take Liberia from where it is. The way we all want to see it as. Thank well, you. You can commend, you can commend political leaders, correct? Oh yeah, can, you can commend any political leader for something they say that is right. <laughs> okay. You see, all in right. your view, what is right is right. I commended uh, uh, Alexander Cummings when he said what was right. Okay, so and yeah, all right. Uh, Wida, is there any special something you want to say before you go, or that was your final word? One minute. Oh no, I I I, I gotta say something. I just want to thank you all. Um, the LPR family and uh, Mr. The General, I should say. I just want to look. The last thing I want to say is that let us think about Liberia in everything we do because that's the only place that no one can be deported from, especially when you're Liberian. And and no matter who is in power, Liberia remains, Liberia will be, and we should love Liberia. And that's what I want to say. Mr. Josh? Yeah, let me say thank you to our guest the general then mr tosa i didn't speak to him today tonight yes you didn't you didn't who, who cares <laughs> you are the man for us we know that you told me say you're not going to uh, speak to him you told me that. you did it i noticed that as well you did it you want to you reflect on me and the general yeah that his son, he brought you to america mm -hmm. thank you wait, thank you of course <laughs> i will ask my question you can't wait no the guy is getting on our skin i mean the worst thing i was trying mr, mr. Yeah. mr. to <laughs> Mr. Tu, I sincerely apologize if I did not speak to you when I came in. 
You're welcome. No problem. So we'll go to Tota and get some Suri Prada and settle it there. So yes, I'll leave yeah. that one out there. Okay. But I want to say thanks to Mason and Mr. Wido. Uh But let me say this. In that much, we all love Liberia. And in order for that country to survive, we have to talk the good and print out the ills. I don't care who is in power. For me, I will call it as it is. Because if we don't do it, our people will continue to suffer. That's, that is what we find like where it is today because, oh, the mess, my friend, all the point power that my man, I don't know people can't say anything about them. No, it is not time we speak truth to power because if we don't do so, is that we will not get a better result. And let me just leave you at that point, Mr. So. I don't know if you saw that story today, Mr. So, from what I saw. Mm -hmm. Did you read that, you, you, you read that story from what I saw? I'm gonna, I'm trying yes, to- Yes, yes, I did. I, it's very interesting, I did. I read it as well. Yeah. yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. Okay, so uh, General? Yes, I want to say thanks to everyone. That was a nice conversation. And I tell people, like, I use the word and it all just said it. It's the only country we cannot be deported from. I try my best to respect all leaders and Liberia first, no matter what happens. We try to protect our country. I don't care if I will benefit or not that tomorrow. If anything happened to me, maybe I might not see the 2023. Maybe I might not see it. Don't say I'm talking about death, but the fact is that. It's possible. No, tomorrow is not promising. And to okay. those who are listening to us, don't be too personal. Never fall in love with a political leader. You can exactly. admire them. And you have two ways to think. When you're in your home, you think with your heart. Because you can cover your wife, you can cover your kids. When you're in public life, you think with your head. That means you must look at your friend and say, you are wrong. And I want to say this to George. Thank you very much. Which is a problem. There are a lot of things that is not being funded in Liberia, like the police, the whatsoever. But you see, government is like an octopus. They continue, they can operate together. That's why we have a budget. But when you concentrate on one and leave the other one, it is a problem. So they must think about it. As much as we, we, we want to replace George Weir, but if George Weir fail, Liberia will fail. And even if George Weir do good, Come 2023, we will still run against him. So why we should be afraid to do good? He still, will, whether you good or not, that's the beauty of democracy. We will still go against you, like what he did to Ellie. So nothing personal. Exactly. It's all about Liberia. It's all. About, that's why I tell people. I know maybe George. I stay friends with George. I just saw, I just noticed, and even Zion thought black him, and I thought Zion. I thought Zion said black me from the from his show, but I wouldn't watch Mr. Brown most of the time. So apparently yeah, he share his thing to me, and you do share your stuff, Mr. So. But let me say you this to you, Mr. So. I got a lot of good journalists uh, 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 from the old school. I know nobody should feel bad, but what I say, Zion is one of Liberia's finest. Oh my! It's so God. sad that he can be I in agree. America and he's not. I know how he asks questions. Why you? Why you? Why you moving back? I know how he asks questions. I consider him as an investigative journalist. But in Liberia today, I'm not trying to condemn everybody. You need some you need some most of yeah. them, they call them, they call them journalists instead of journalists. They are journalists. Hey, oh. Mr. Brown, you're a good talk show host. I follow you all the time. Don't oh. worry. But just do the best. And everybody here, we all love Liberia. That's the one thing we have in common. The man, the Liberty Party, you yeah? the Liberty Party, the Liberty Party, you say, man, but he won't tell us who he already does, Braga, indirectly on your show. So, no problem. You see, Kishan, General, this is this is this is another deficiency in communication the man is a liberty party man his party <laughs> is part of the collaboration but he's unable to put candidate so they are telling us liberty party is just unfair meaning since the demise of uh, charles walker bronskin nobody else is the face nobody can get there as it's just there as a showcase uh, of the party look gentlemen uh, we want to we want to thank you
we, uh, yeah, we strongly okay. disagree. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. To go to a talent or a sleep, uh, so you're asleep fine from that. Well, folks, I want to thank all of you so much, uh, the general. Uh, and I kind of a little bit disagree with Mr. Weeder. It is inexcusable. And I know the Helen Johnson Sullivan government spent over $360,000 to wage an effective campaign to media. That it is true. But that is still inexcusable for the Ministry of Information and for the party to even draw out a, a, a robust communication thing to be able to it. Because you know what? Little thing trickle then. And they're quick to be distracted. And that's the same problem with the opposition. The collaboration, by this time, I expect that you have like an envoy with the EU, with the United Nations, with, with the America here to lobby. But that cussing, Joy, we are where 10,000, 20 that you, nonsense. It's not going to do them any favor. If the matter and they are just, just taking off track and think that they're going to go, Liberian, they, they will juke the rust in it. They need to focus. They need to tell us how they're going to do it differently than George Weir. They need to tell us how they're going to restore hope in the Liberian people. They need to tell us how they're going to build the economy. They need to tell us how they're going to downsize the government. If they just think they're just going to do it, it is not over. Politics is a deadly game. All of these proliferations of this party, don't be surprised when it is infiltrated. And where you saw what? Samuel Jackson, right? Yesterday, oh. George Weir, he was in Georgia. He was being celebrated. But if you want to be a celebrity, cost the president, cost the hell out of everybody, then the sir. Uh, but when Samuel Jackson turned around to say, hey, yeah. I'm no. not anything. He being demonized now. He being belly driven. That yeah. how stupid and that's how foolish we are in our thinking. I'm sorry to say, we don't. No, use you're right. You're right. To say it as it is. If we are not strategic, if we can't question people, if we can't hold people, and we can't listen to people, and if the opposition is a George, a George is a celebrity. You know, yeah. If the opposition, yeah, Kisha, really. if the opposition is unwilling yeah, yeah, yeah. to incorporate we other people and just say, okay, we will bring it together, we will be last time you wrote something, you wrote something about me last night. It will be something. I, I'm trying to find that post before okay. I respond. You okay. wrote something last night about me. I'm Who's trying to okay. okay. question you, and I'm trying right. to find that post. When okay. I find we'll... that post, then I will respond to you. Oh, uh, we don't. Let me tell you, my brother. That's how I know. Yeah, add, me right. add me on Facebook. Add me on Facebook. Add me on Facebook. Let's add me on Facebook. Let all... gentlemen, let's leave that. Yeah, 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 Hopefully, yeah, the, the government, government the okay. opposition. I want the all good right. for my country, and I hope the exactly. opposition sometimes will go out of their own way to incorporate other people outside of the system. That's how it mm -hmm. works. But if the things say, okay, we struggle for this liberation cause, so it is only us can do it. They juke the rust in there. I'm I'm wondering, can they go outside of their bare way and bring in somebody as the number two to give you a different picture or no? No, 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 no. no. Okay. So yeah, once it. you do that, once you do that, they take all the information and send it to Costa. No, 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 you no. You them now. You say that brings something from Costa. Only saying the information that shouldn't be public, they will take it and send it to Costa. No, what we do? Just, I, I'm only saying here as institutions and to be reflective within the outside is just not only a library. To be conciliatory, to be able to bring people together. Because and people I, don't have law for country, only for themselves. Well, That's why well, when, well, you, when, they, when you get a job, they will tell the information. Go, yes, send the information guys, send it it thank you, thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to having this. Call. Hey, General, it shouldn't be your last time here. We always hear Sunday event uh, anytime, and then I will feel free uh, to learn. In. And I will count on that to we connect. Hopefully, to have uh, Arizona Benedict come in here. Let we yeah. talk. Let us, let us go in closer and see what he has. For yeah. Liberia, we want to give him the fair share to I uh, to be able to to respond and I uh, talk to the sea. Okay, to uh, the liberal and uh, what man missing to uh, George Weeder. Thank you so much, uh, the general, and have a pleasant, pleasant. And day. Mr. Brown, please, I want to make sure that you give that fifty dollars. Make that sure man, you give I, it. That man, I, he never want to give it. But you know, I don't.